Yeah, exactly. We can't really tell nowadays. Not even like I used to think like wood had a huge bearing on guitar tone, and you know what? It really doesn't. All right, apologies for the delay, everyone. It's that time of year when the sleigh bells start a jingling and the carolers start a carolin, and we all start thinking, man, it's a shame all this snow is covering up my beautiful, perfect lawn. Well, fret no more. You can mow lawns virtually, and we're here to show you how, because this year, Lawn Movember has four extra days Hi, I'm Mythical9. I'm here with Twin, and we're going to be commentating this year's Lawn Mower Showcase. Twin, how are you? I'm, I'm doing fantastic. Uh, Lawn Mower is a great game, and we're starting with a blind race. And I'm shocked we found uh, four, three players to voluntarily uh, <laughs> want to like discover this game in a race. It's a it's a crazy, crazy task, and no snow, thankfully, only flowers, rocks, and fuel cans uh, will accompany us uh, today. It's going to be great, and those players don't really know what they signed up for. Yeah, I think uh, Lawnmower is a... well, to back up, just so everyone knows, Lawnmower is a homebrew NES game. Uh, it was developed in 2011. And it's, it's captured the hearts and minds of, our, of a dedicated few here, who us who call ourselves the Lawnmower community. Uh, it was featured in the Finals of Mystery Tournament. It was in the Ultimate Decathlon a few years ago. So we put on this event to celebrate this very cool game. And I think a blind race is one of the best ways to sort of experience Lawnmower. Because it is a weirdly intense game when you are trying to go as fast as possible because it's so punishing. Uh, it's going to start out really easy for our players here as we're, we get this race started. Um, but eventually this game is going to start to get pretty difficult. Yeah, the, the goal is naturally just to mow the lawn. So you have to get every single square of grass uh, cut and you can move on. Um, but the, your mower goes super, super fast. and It's pretty easy to take a wrong turn on the first level. We saw no problem with that because it was only grass. But now we have flower. Uh, each time you cut uh, some flowers, you're going to lose uh, fuel. And if you're out of fuel, as you just saw, you have to start all over again and it's a it's a fine balance to like go fast and try to slow down only at specific spot when you want to turn precisely in between two flower squares and it's super super tricky but it seems so easy you want to pick the controller and just do it and it's so easy to understand and it's so so difficult yeah it's got that i call it the ring toss effect when you go to like the carnival or whatever the reason ring toss draws people in is because it looks so easy when you can just throw the ring or whatever, right? But actually, actually, it's very, very difficult, right? So you have this perception like, oh, I should be able to do this very, very easily, no problem. And that conflicts with the reality of how hard it actually is. Oh, Retro Runner just barely zigzagged away from the fuel. Um, so it leads to this, this sort of like... Uh, uh, you can't pull yourself away from it. You, you're you sure, oh, I just need one more attempt because it's not that hard. Uh, but it is. The, the players will hopefully start to understand just how difficult the game can be as we move on into Lawn 3 now. The game has introduced rocks, and these are going to eat up much more of your fuel than the flowers would. You can hit one rock and probably be okay. Two, you're mostly dead. Yeah, two, you're... Except if maybe the fuel is right, it spawns right next to you. Um, mm. If not, you're dead. And the flowers, you cut them and then you're free to go. The rocks that don't bulge, right? So either you are going to maybe like try to overcorrect, overcompensate a little bit when you make a mistake, and then you're going to run back into it immediately. So <laughs> it's it's pretty tricky and. 
Um, the players suddenly have to go fast. Uh, it's not possible to mow the entire lawn going slowly. You have to uh, press your A or B button to go faster, and sometimes you have to <laughs> let it go and let go of the gas to uh, just be more precise. And it's pretty, pretty interesting to see uh, what the players are going to to, to determine it is the correct strategy, um, maybe mowing the center first, uh, like um, PP dot is doing right now, Peapot dot, sorry, and um, maybe the correct decision is to like try to go as fast as possible and get the hang of it. I don't know. Um, Lawn four is now a little bit bigger, and we have this weird situation where sometimes we don't know where the fuel can spawn. Uh, only one spawns at a time and you have to be able to get to, the, to it. And it was pretty easy on loan uh, 1, 2 and 3, but now it's bigger and sometimes you are going to get lost somewhere between like the, 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 the grass you have to mow and the fuel you have to get to before you're dead. Yeah, the visibility is a really big issue. Um, there is a little sound, there's this little like doom sound when the fuel can spawns. And so you want to be on either the left side of the screen or the right side of the screen when you hear that sound. Because if it spawns on the left, you'll see it. You know, if you're on the left and it spawns on the left, you'll see it. If you don't see it, you know you have to go right to get to the fuel can. If you're in the middle and it goes doom and you don't see it, you don't know if it's on the right or the left, and you probably do not have a lot of time to go all the way to one side to check, see it's not there, then go all the way to the other. So, uh, you know, having that sort of awareness is gonna be really important, and it's so hard to have that sort of awareness when, like, your entire body is focusing so hard on just steering the mower around the level. Yeah, exactly. It's. You, you have to, to try to pay attention at so, at so many uh, things at once, exactly on that loan 6, where the Retro Runner is currently uh, making good progress. Uh, four minutes so far, and uh, already half of the game done. Um, it's Those rocks don't make any sense. Uh, they are placed exactly at the wrong place, and it seems like they're even <laughs> like moving sometimes. Uh, they're... There is no good pattern to mow lawn 6. Uh, the previous one, there, there was a bit of symmetry that helps you like go around and do, like try to follow a pattern of some sort. The lawn 6 you cannot and you have to adapt and steer at exactly the right time if you want to go exactly around the rock in order to like be safer later, but it's the risk reward ratio is pretty bad for the player if they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, it it sounds silly, but it really is important to be able to visualize where you want your mower to go. Uh, if you're making it up as you go, you're you're gonna do something bad for sure. Um, the the way you really kind of maintain control of your mower is you you are visualizing a path that you're gonna take through a space, and you try to follow that path. And it's so much easier to visualize those paths when everything is nice and symmetric and laid out. It's got a pattern to it. The human brain can handle that. These random rocks here in Lawn 6, not so much. So a lot of people agree that Lawn 6 uh, is the most difficult level. And it's gone pretty well for Retro Runner so far. 80, 90% complete now. The fuel is somewhere on the right side. It's slowing down a lot to make sure that this goes well but again the slower you go the less grass you're mowing yeah this is the correct strategy and going with that line patterns he is going just a little bit one square up and doing a straight line and, until there's a rock and that worked fantastically uh for a uh, laner rainer it's a little bit harder trying to go from like sections and there are so many rock in each, each vertical section it's pretty hard to to get to the fuel and then mow a little bit and then go back for the fuel uh, having all the right side done here it's going to be pretty tricky to go to the left and try to zigzag around those rocks and then go back to the, the right section as soon as the fuel can spawns uh, it's getting tricky and uh, the, the more and more you do of that uh, here we go mowing all of the way around gives you a chance for the fuel can to spawn next to you when you're making progress that's better 
yeah, that we did not cover that, but the fuel only spawns in places where the grass has been mowed, and there's no flowers or rocks or anything, of course. So you sort of influence where the fuel spawns by where you mow the grass. And so one of the worst things you can do is just mow the entire outside of the level, which is funny enough where your first instinct is when you first start playing, because it's very safe there. Your mower can bump up against the edges of the stage and not have anything bad happen to it. So you'll just comfortably go all the way around the outside, but now you've made the fuels able to spawn in all the furthest away locations <laughs> and nowhere else. So there really is a lot of strategy with, uh, you know, how you approach the lawns, which grass you mow when. Lawn 7 is pretty tricky as well for a completely different reason. Uh, each section is pretty easy to mow. You go slowly and you get those nine squares in, uh, in between each uh, bigger section. You're going to get to, to make progress. And halfway there, you're going to have trouble getting back to the fuel. Uh, we've seen some players actually mow um, the flowers strategically to be able to cross past faster because it's it's pretty intense and here the retro runner is, is having trouble to go back and then make some progress and go back for the fuel can and sadly the mistake here uh, kills the run. Yes. Um, the uh... The flower mowing strategy is, is definitely very real. Um, this is a lawn that is forcing you to go fast. Uh, we saw Retro Runner re relying on the accuracy you get when you slow the mower right down. Um, but this lawn is really big and it's got all these little sort of like cup shapes that you've got to get into. So you might find yourself inside one when the fuel spawns or the fuel might spawn inside one. It forces a really long path back to the fuel. Mm -hmm. It's too long to go slowly. You do have to step on the gas and just accurately drive that thing through these one tile wide gaps. And these aren't rocks, they're flowers, but they're all in lines. So if you're off a little bit, you're probably not going to mow just one flower. You're probably going to mow like four yep. and you're probably <laughs> dead. Yeah, just a single wrong turn and you're going to, to take a pretty big hit to your fuel meter. Um, Laner Rainer is actually making very, very good progress now. Uh, having some flower mode here uh, is going probably to help them, but uh, I don't know if the final section going fast is going to pay for them, but certainly it's better than going slow as uh, Retro Runner is doing right now, costing them a lot of back and forth to uh, get to the fuel. Uh, slowing down here is a good strategy now that you are at 92% of the mode. This could be mode. the end of the line right here. Yep. Just go slow. Nice. Smart. <laughs> Smart decision making. Oh, okay. Papat Dot was, was yeah. struggling a little bit. I think went over a rock, but got the fuel. Is most of the way done, Lawn 6, and gets a fuel spawn on screen. That's very nice. Um, going back to fuel, something very important to note is that going slow uh, is as fuel efficient as going fast, you are going to use as much... Uh, the fuel depletes per time, not per movement. So mm -hmm. you're going to lose time to lose fuel uh, at the same rhythm. And so if you go slow, you're never going to make it uh, past like alone three or four. And after that, you have to go fast and try to just go slow when you the accuracy is needed. So that's that's pretty important because Going slow is not an option for uh, loan 8, 9, and 10. They are the biggest ones, and they're pretty tricky to uh, to get across. Um, loan 8 here for Laner Renner is divided in three sections, and to be get to the final one, if you have mowed everything, it's going to be pretty difficult because Laner Renner is, going, uh, is doing a lot of uh, back and forth here and as needed because it's pretty tricky to get back to that grass is actually just like circling like a hawk waiting for a fuel spawn that is not on the left side of the screen. It's going to pick this up and wait and hope to see a spawn more on the right side of the screen. If they don't get it, they're just going to wait. They don't want to go all the way over to the right side, mow like three grass tiles and then go back. But there, Let's now go. the fuel's over here and they can finish out the whole level in one go. That's actually a very, very good strategy. Like that was that was perfect. Um, I love I have not seen that yet. I've seen like 20 people blind race this game. I've never seen that before. That was a treat. 
Yeah, usually the, the players try to go back and forth, get as much grass as possible for each single uh, fuel can, but it doesn't usually work so well. So we have Lawn 7 for Papat Dot, did Conquer 6. Uh, Lawn 8 now for Retro Runner has done a pretty good job of one side and most of the middle, which is pretty easy to do on Lawn 8. I think it's a little bit easier than 7, but again, that tricky part is the layout of these rocks forcing you to kind of serpentine up, down, up as oh, you cross. No. Needed to go faster than that to get to the fuel. Yep, just a little bit too safe, and as in, it's understandable because those rocks, you're going to make one wrong turn and immediately die. You cannot like correct yourself if you're aligned with those four rocks, it's over. Right. So you have to, to, to compensate a little bit for your uh, inaccuracies, but if you are too slow, it doesn't work so well. So uh, Retro Runner got the, the slowing down strats uh, pretty well uh, for the first few rounds, but I I'm scared that it's not going to work so well here on Lawn 8. Lawn 9 is going fantastically uh, for Lane Runner. Uh, it's probably easier than Lawn uh, 6, 7 and 8. Yeah, I think so. It's laid out in a pretty nice pattern. Um, I think it might be a little bit longer, which uh, yeah, it, is definitely an important Yeah, it's a tiny factor. bit bigger. Lawn 9 and 10 are just like a few, like I think four columns. Uh, larger than six, seven, and eight. The same strategy of waiting for a better fuel spawn before leaving this side. It does mean that you you might get a little bit antsy. Oh, goes for it and then gets the lucky spawn, almost as if they knew. Laner Rainer in a really good position. Papat dot fuels out pretty early on in seven, and that's a lawn clear for Retro Runner. Moving on to lawn nine as well. This is less than fourteen minutes into this race. Uh, the fastest blind times I've seen were Beko and Ohan at a live race in the practice room at uh, AGDQ uh, 2019, 2020, I think it was. Um, they were around 10 minutes. Uh, I've seen very, very good blind racers get anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes. Um, I've seen really good blind racers take 30 minutes. So the fact that these players are on lawn 9, lawn 10, before the 15 minute mark, these are these are actually some fantastic runs from these players. Yeah, I think blind racing lawnmower is actually a personality test. Like if you try to go <laughs> fast or if you if you try to, to get the, to the game to behave as like you would like it to, uh, or if you understand that you have to submit to its its will and its inaccuracy. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. And I've seen some very, very talented players and blind racers like go over the hour mark because it's very, very difficult just to to be able to to do what the games want you to do and to get how the game works. So ten minutes is is insane as a even as a speedrun time it's pretty difficult to get so as a a blind blind run time it's it's crazy yeah it was it was super impressive watching that happen we will see some uh regular traditional speed running where players have practiced and routed it out um it is uh there's a lot of work that goes into uh the route um in terms of you know optimizing for rng but mostly it's it's just tough as nails execution for five straight minutes just do not miss a turn and there's like 300 of them in a row and <laughs> turns when you're going max speed and lawnmower oh I for, i've forgotten the number but it's not a lot of frames to make a turn it's something like three or four frames yeah plus the game um gets one frame every five frames where it doesn't register your inputs mm -hmm. so it you get some some missed uh, inputs or some feeling of uh, input lag sometime which, oh. and that's why so many players miss a turn really good fuel spawns here from Lena rainer could have maybe tried to just finish it out goes for the fuel this is the last bit of grass on the last lawn oh Slow no 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 goes over the rock oh, oh, no. <laughs> the, the, oh that the, is lawn mower in a nutshell folks <laughs> it, 
it seemed so easy. Like the one square that they were just right there. <laughs> so what happened there was Lena Rayner thought, okay, I've I don't have to go fast. I can just go slowly, right? But you get so used to going fast, you build up the muscle memory for taking turns when you're going fast that suddenly when you're going slow, it's wrong. And he turn and they turn too early, basically, because if he was going faster, that would have been the time to turn. But it wasn't. So going slower is definitely advantageous from a strategic perspective, but it's harder in terms of execution. You have sort of two different modes you kind of need to learn to play at. Yeah, that's that's it's it's hard to watch. And now you have to build everything back up because like the game is not going to get any easier. It's 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 even harder, I'd say, because mm. the frustration can get you, and you want to go as fast as possible to, yep, to get back to the point you were. And sadly, uh, Retro Runner uh, passes here, Lena Runner, and now making good progress. Um, Pepper Dot still on loan 7, almost at the end here, 96%. Just have to be a little bit careful. <laughs> and he's going to be extra careful here. And nice. does it. Uh, it's funny. You do have to make these decisions in the blink of an eye, right? Do I mow these last four tiles of grass or do I retreat to find the fuel wherever it is? And... It's it's not a thing that you can think about on like a conscious level. It just happens unconsciously. Your fingers just do something. And mm. I I love that this game like taps into this this sort of like unconscious <laughs> part of people. I it gets into this personality test theory of yeah, those, I think. Yeah. Ex exactly. It's do do you take the are you a risk taker and are you do you do you know how to like count exactly how long it's going to take you to to mow those four squares do you know yourself correctly <laughs> to be uh, to ex accurately uh, execute on those few turns you need to do and it, it's pretty interesting and I think going back for the fuel is never a bad decision except if you don't know where the fuel is. And if you have to, to mm. scramble around and you don't know you can make it to the fuel, you could at least try to mow the final few squares. But where's the limit? Where's the, the how many squares of grass is it just can justify taking the risk? It's it's pretty intense. And you don't have the time to think about that because it no, all you... goes like so fast. It's Okay, a fortunate on screen fuel spawn for Lana Rainer. This one's off screen though. It's only gonna mow three tiles of grass. Oh, oh hits oh, a rock. Okay, risky. waiting for the fuel. Yeah. Just back and forth. Nice spawn. Unfortunate spawn. Let's see. Oh, they are gonna go for grass and they get a good spawn. This could be it. Yep. We're good. Just go slowly, the back and forth. Yep. Retro runner as well is gonna get all this grass, but needs to head to the fuel very quickly. Okay, it's not too far. That is a done from Lena Rainer, and not too far behind, I think, is gonna be Retro Runner. This is insanely close. Alright, let's not do the same mistake. Oh, Going fortunate slowly. fuel right there. Yeah, that was very good. Oh, was going fast, oh. doesn't want to go fast, is oh. wiggling back and forth. Get the grass, get it, oh, get it. Wow, oh my so god, good. it's good. <laughs> it's good. Retro Runner lost their mind a little bit there, but recovered it just in time for the finish. 30 seconds apart. Well done to both these racers. It was so close to <laughs> Oh my god. All right. Oh, very, very good fuel spawn right under um, there. Nope, this one was a bit too far, but that just a little bit unfortunate here, trying to uh, get going. And the, the correct pattern for loan 8 is very, very difficult to execute on. You want to mow as much as the on the right section as on the left section, and it's pretty difficult. You want to go all around and uh, try to get good spawns on the left and on the right. And sadly, when you don't know what you're doing and you disc you're just running the game for the first time, you are going to get in the exact same situation as the other runners. You are going to get all those fuel spawn on the left side of the uh, 
the the loan and then you're going to wonder how to get back to the right side uh, and get some fuel back it's it's pretty intense yeah it's tough for a blind race um you you can sort of pick up on some things when you're racing like if you're really good right i don't think i really would have if i was playing this blind to be like you know what i think the fuel keeps spawning only in grass that i've already mowed right i would i don't know if I, that thought would occur to me while i was trying so desperately just to keep this mower on the on the path right um but it is something that maybe the players could notice and then they could start to think about and incorporate that until then though i think it's just going to be focusing purely on getting grass and don't die yeah yeah for sure and we had a, to... a, a good question from chat though the wondering if this game was a legit game you could buy back on the nes back in the day this was developed in 2011 uh by someone named shiru and it's a homebrew game you can just sort of if you want and you know what you're doing you can make nes hey. games whenever you um, want so i i know you uh, told me 20 minutes is. and I did it about that, so that was pretty good. Level, uh, we'll I kind of had it done like 16, audio. but level 10 screwed me. Normally, this... sometimes there's a link for Thanks for the GG, dude. To, uh, to switch the audio. All right, there it goes. Yeah, it's 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 a very very interesting game. I, I do recommend uh, everybody to try it. It's uh, it's pretty hard. It's pretty fun to be honest. It's so easy to understand and so hard to execute on. It's probably the easiest game to understand just as a viewer. If if someone never seen any like video game, uh, they could understand what's going on. With just moving that one lawnmower and trying to change the color of every every square even if you've never seen like pixel art but sadly understanding and doing it is so different yeah this is uh you know whenever i'm like watching something and or listening to something and the person says like try it try it yourself right i'm always like no thanks it's like <laughs> i'm like nah no thanks I, I, I never do, right? I'm just, I, I, I don't think I'm alone there. But really, you cannot understand what it's like to to play this game without playing it. We can, we can say things in so many ways, and we can show you this race, and we can show you how Papat Dot's wonderful run was completely ruined by one tiny turn. But until you give it a shot and get a feel for it yourself, you'll, you'll never quite know the magic of Lawnmower. And just as a puzzle game, to figure out the correct routing, it's pretty difficult as well. It's uh, it's insane how like some trivial-looking puzzles um, actually are not so easy to solve. And there are many, many routes that are actually good in doing, while doing a speedrun. Um, and uh, all the aspects of uh, easy ease of execution and speed are actually valid and that's why in the uh, upcoming relay race we are going to see a lot of different routes and tricks and techniques obviously there is probably a few best routes and fastest routes and you never want to slow down ever when you're doing a speedrun but it's you're going to get better times when you're starting speedrunning the game Weeze a lot of slowdown and good turns compared to just going fast and just a few mistakes ruining the entirety of your tries. So it's uh, it's pretty funny. But uh, Papa Dot here making good progress finally. Uh, 25 minutes here is actually a good time, I'd say. My first run of the game, like my blind race, was over 45 minutes, I'd say. Yeah, so I've I've looked into this because it it's I find it really interesting because there, sometimes there's almost no coordination between uh, a player's skill level and how they do when they play this game for the first time. Um, I was at 31 minutes. Uh, I've seen really strong blind racers uh, north of an hour even playing this game. So uh, to be at level nine at 26 is actually I think probably better than average still. 
I wonder if being streamed and actually having to perform helps you a little bit on lawnmower because if you know you have to finish, it might help you decide to go slow and just try to finish compared to just go full ham all the time. I think I never let go of the gas while playing the game for the first time. Because it's pretty hard like to get used to the slower pace. It's actually not so easy to go slow. We've seen here some players just like miss a turn because they were actually trying to go slow and be more accurate. So it's it's the decision to let go of the gas is hard to take and Pepa Dot here is just going fast all the time trying to get easy turns. Uh, as easy as possible compared to doing like some zigzags. Yeah, getting some straight lines here, that's pretty good. And yeah, really nice good. driving there. Yep. Um, yeah, so uh, it's not too bad to steer the mower when it's going along at its slowest pace for a while. The trick that, I, or the tricky part rather for me is sort of the in-between when the lawnmower is sort of accelerating or decelerating from fast to slow or slow to fast where there's uh you have no experience at all ever making turns during that phase so uh you almost want to find like straightaways where you can safely accelerate or decelerate uh almost like a plane needing like a, a runway to land on or take off from or something um it, it really is not so simple to just go fast or go slow whenever you want. One of the most satisfying part of Lone Mower, when you tr you're you starting to get the layout, is the pattern, pattern recognition. You're going to understand what routes you can follow and what's safe and what's not. And uh, good spawn here, <laughs> almost died. And uh, yeah, sometimes you're struggling uh, cleaning just a section of the uh, the layout, but if you took like a few different turns or just follow the different pattern, uh, you could have made it way easier for yourself. Sadly, the fact that the fuels uh, the fuel spawn randomly, it's going to kill you and your focus at some points because you are going to, to get that in the back of your mind and trying to uh, complete your pattern or your layout. You're going to be interrupted halfway through having mm -hmm. to go back for the fuel and then you you don't know where you are uh, because a, a, part, a part of the grass has been mowed and you don't know where the pattern starts anymore and it's it's pretty funny just to get to that vibe and that's why probably speedrunning in the game is pretty hard as well is you have to adapt for the rng at some point and um, you have to get back on track and your route uh, after making a detour, and that's that's pretty difficult. Yeah, that's true. I never really thought about how important it is to... I mean, I, I know it's it's we've talked about it's very important to sort of visualize the path you want to take um, and then sort of execute on that, but I never really thought about the interruptive nature of the random fuel spawn. Like, whatever plan you had has to be thrown out the window and replaced every... 10 seconds or something in this yeah. game, right? No. Oh, so man. 84%. Yeah, the, the final few persons are way harder than the rest because you have to uh, get back to the fuel all the time. And uh, it's, I don't know, it's hard to, to, to focus on the accuracy when you're just doing back and forth uh, for a few squares of grass. I really like what I'm seeing from a pot dot when he sees the fuel, knows where it is, uh, and it, and feels comfortable. We'll just mow some el some grass elsewhere um, until it be you know the fuel gets low enough that you really do need the fuel can. Um, you might say like, oh, it, that's that's being greedy or whatever, right? Because as soon as you pick up the fuel can, that's when the respawn for the next one starts. So um, you're not sort of you're not going to get the jump on the next fuel spawn if you wait and pick it up at the last second or anything. Um, but you are just sort of... Um, you're going to have more grass mode when you pick up that fuel can. You're just going to be in a better position. Um, and so in that sense, it is it is worth it to mow as much as you can before picking up the fuel. Um, even when you're just playing for survival here. 
Uh, there's a, a, a comment on in chat I like. Uh, this is essentially like Pac-Man with more and grass. It's actually not at all because in Pac-Man you cannot you cannot escape once when, when once you are on a path you have to follow the path and then maybe you have an intersection you make you take one decision depending on the what the ghosts are and then you you keep on going on the path you're following here nothing guides you there's no path so you can every turn can be a wrong turn and kill you it's like pac-man but without walls and the walls in pac-man actually dictate a lot here it's like everything is chaos it's it's if Pac-Man has had no ghost and was still very, very, very hard because you could not follow the path. Like it's, it's actually pretty intense, just due to the the nature of the, the controls. It's what really makes the game. Something that's actually really great about Pac-Man is that when you are turning corners, the game will kind of accept. Like if you if you turn early, it'll still kind of move Pac-Man forwards and then make the turn for you. It's very generous in that way, uh, and, and Lawnmower is the opposite. It, <laughs> it will not let, let you. Um, yeah, you will turn sort of too thing. early or too late if you're not exactly at the correct moment, and that's actually pretty, pretty mean from the game. But um, as a developer, it's pretty hard to understand what the game, what the player wants you to do, wants to do. Um, depending on its position, so you have to take a decision on where the mower is going to go because on Pac-Man it's pretty easy if you turn left or right just a little bit early you take the next intersection but here it's all the time you're on uh, probably uh, an intersection you ha you can turn everywhere literally so it's, it's not so easy and the game cannot really be generous with you we are at 80%, just the final section here to go. Pretty smart to mow out the left side there. You're going to get a lot of grass for free, and all of those squares are now squares where the fuel could spawn, and it would be a really great spawn for Papata right now. Does get a pretty fortunate one. Nope. Hits a rock and needed, needed to just head straight over to the right side. Even then, it would have been relying on luck, but then doesn't even get the chance because hits that same rock again on the way back. Yeah, it's one of those games, again, where it's not the first mistake that kills you, it's the second one. <laughs> it's... Well, it's it's funny, because one mistake often leads to a complete disaster in this game. <laughs> like, uh, obviously, when there's a bunch of rocks in a row, and if you turn and go over all of them, then you're dead or whatever, right? But um, even if there's no hazards around at all, but you expect to make a turn on this square, and you don't, you make a square on a different turn, that sort of surprises your brain. And by the time you visually process what just happened and sort of tell your hands to do something else to fix it, um, your your lawnmower has gone another square. So yeah. you, there's like this constant catch up with uh, what just happened whenever you do anything a little bit wrong. And often it means you make several wrong turns, all rapid fire, all in a row. And it's very rare that that doesn't outright kill you in this game. The sound of the rock, yeah, that is another, yeah. <laughs> another thing. I hear that sound in my nightmares. It's an awful sound when you go over that rock. Yep. The uh... you know, you know, you made a mistake so early, and then there's the sound, and then your brain tries to correct uh, the pattern it was trying to follow, and still, you hit a second rock, and then you hear the sound again. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's insane. Like the the game. The, oh, good decision on top of the screen here. Just to mow the flower on lawn seven. Lawn ten is is hard because the rocks are the flowers are almost irrelevant. It's the rocks that kill you all the time. And the pattern is pretty easy to understand. But those few rocks on the left and the and the right with those uh, tiny gaps in between. There is no good. Um, straight pattern to cut the uh, vertical squares of grass so you have to get some good turns at some point and uh, yeah just a few mistakes and, and you route so it's uh, it's pretty hard I'm going to see yeah that straight line here that's pretty good 
But then you have some free squares on the left and the right, so the fuel is going to spawn anywhere now. And uh, making good progress, but still 80%, and now the fun begins. Yeah, this is this is the worst, right? It, it you're like, oh man, eighty percent. I've I've done so much, um, but it there's still so much work to be no. done, and just like that, it's over. Yeah, just a single mistake at the at the end kills you. At the start, the mistakes are not too bad because you know where the fuel is probably going to spawn, so you can get back to it fast. But when you are at eighty percent mode. There's no way you find the uh, the fuel can fast enough. Oh, one square away. This is a this is a difficult question to answer. Are the controls nice, or are they a little bit more on the rough side? Um, well, aside from that, every um, fifth or sixth frame where it doesn't accept input, uh, that's pretty that's pretty rough. Um, but most of the time, I it's pretty rare that I feel like. I should have made that turn and I didn't. The game robbed me or whatever, right? Like every time I screw up, I always feel like it was me that screwed up in this game. Yeah, the controls are nice, but it goes too fast. As Jimmy said, that's probably the best answer. It, the, the game behaves as you'd expect, but it's just too fast. It's like playing Mario Kart at like 1000 CC or something. It's just <laughs> you cannot take your turns as you, you'd want to. Trof disagrees in chat. Not nice. But it's not nice nor rough. It's just your brain it's, is too yeah. slow. <laughs> it's it's fair. It's not unfair in its controls. I would say. It may not feel like it when you're playing though. This is a really great run. There's a fuel in the middle. This is not enough, probably, to finish the lawn. Oh, fuel, fortunate fuel. Could go slow here. Isn't. Gets another fortunate fuel. Never yes. slow down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nicely done. Never letting go of the gas and still finishing in less than 40 minutes. All right. Well done to all our players. Lane Rayner, our winner. The Retro Runner, very close behind. And now Papatdot, I think if I type this into the chat, you will get some links to their streams where you can find them. I think uh, Lane Rainer had to go, unfortunately. Um, but I think hopefully we can talk to some of our players a little bit before we move on to the next part of our event, because this is a multi-part event. We are going to have a 5v5 relay race in a little bit. So we'll, we'll, be, we'll be mowing lawns for the next couple of hours here. Yeah, I'm so excited for the relay. Uh, this is the third year in a row we're doing that race, and uh, the French team won the first time, then USA won last year, and now we're on the third match, and uh, we had some very, very good runs in the past, uh, past month, so we're going to see where the teams are at. But yeah, I'd love to hear a little bit about uh, the runners and what they're Sub process was while blind racing the game. So I think we can at least talk to Papat Dot, who I'm seeing in the Discord. That's a pretty good sign. Um, yeah, one of the the first time we did this event, we had oh I'm gonna forget Cool Kid, ND, Cosmic, and uh, Zandra and. Uh, everyone liked playing the game blind, which is good, right? Because this can be a frustrating <laughs> game. Um, people really, really liked it. So, I'm curious, Papat Dot, how was your experience playing Lawnmower for the first time? <laughs> uh, it was fun. Uh, it's impossible. Uh, <laughs> it's rocks. Uh, rocks are awful, and they will get in your way as you get like. The closer you are to finishing, the more they get in your way, even though they don't move at all. It's they, just, they just the way. <laughs> um, tell me about the sound when you mow over a rock. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it certainly is the sound of running over a rock. Just it's gonna it's gonna grate in your mind forever. Um, okay, so <laughs> the strategy. Did you ever feel like you had worked out any kind of element of strategy, or was it all like, please don't die, please don't die? 
Uh, I feel like I had generally an idea of what I wanted to do. Uh, it was just, am I gonna am I gonna run over a rock on the way, uh, or like where is the fuel can going to be? Uh, so like I think I sort of got a handle on things later on uh, a little more, mm. um, which is why like lawn seven took a lot less time than lawn six. Um, but just kind of like, I know for a little bit, I was like clearing one side and then like trying to go to the other side and clear that. But I found that I had to keep going back mm -hmm. for long periods. It's like, oh, I, I have nothing over here for it to spawn at. So I'm going to like, as I got into the later ones, um, I started trying to like more evenly distribute my, uh, my, my sections of lawn that I was mowing. Right. Exactly. No, that's that's probably the best way to do it. I mean, it comes down to almost like a personal thing at some point as well. Like, do you do you want to mow the center out so that the spawns are more centralized, or do you want the spawns even and grass to be even so that wherever you go, there's always something for you to mow? I don't really yeah. know the answers to those questions, but it, <laughs> the fact that you were at least thinking about them and forming some kind of answer to them is lovely to hear. Yeah. Um, something surprising is that you never let go of the gas, like your A button <laughs> kept pressed for the entirety of the the run. I mean, uh, if you if you're using the same amount of fuel letting go of the button as you are holding it, why would you ever let go? <laughs> well, you mow less rocks. It, so I I depends. doubt that I would mow less rocks <laughs> if I was if I was holding the button. Uh, well, we less. we we saw Lane Rainer was using the slowdown a lot, and I th I think it probably helped them out a lot. Um, <laughs> but also, they completely missed a turn going slowly. They turned too early because they were used to turning, you know, at that speed when they were going quickly, and yep. it cost them a fuel out right at the end of the final lawn. So, yeah, absolutely, there is some merit to just focusing on the execution and muscle memory of that high speed oh yeah i totally understand that was not like a criticism or, or anything it's just <laughs> like to understand the thought process yeah, um, well, like was it a thought process or like was your thumb just glued down and you weren't even thinking about it uh i would say like a couple times on like ones two and three i felt like i let go of the button and it didn't like, I let go of the button briefly to, like, get a turn, and it didn't help me at all. I'm like, okay, this is not worth it. Let me just... I'm just going to hold the button down the whole time. Especially since you move so slowly going... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I just need to get to the cans faster. That's all I need to do. Well, all right. Uh, thank you so much for coming out and doing this. It's always a treat to watch people play this for the first time. Yeah, I had fun. Well, don't go anywhere, everyone. There's going to be more lawn mowing action coming up. We're going to have a 5v5 relay race. There are some links in the chat where you can find Stream as well as Retro Runner and Lane Rainer. Um, our 5v5 relay race coming up is, uh, is a... I don't, I don't quite know exactly how this became... This line in the sand got drawn the way that it... <laughs> has been but uh i don't i guess it starts with the ultimate decathlon why don't you talk a little bit about that yeah game? probably uh for some reason the french uh speedrun commun community got pretty hyped about uh ultimate decathlon which is uh, a multi-game speedrunning competition uh, 10 games almost f felt like almost drawn randomly uh, in genres and styles, completely different games uh, from different platforms. And for the seventh edition, we picked Landmower. So we had a lot, a lot of French runners uh, discovering, discussing, and speedrunning the game. That was a lot of fun. And uh, Jimmy actually loved the game. Um, and the mystery tournament community as well a lot of people actually played and loved the game and wanted to speedrun the game so the french community and a few more other runners were interested in two years ago playing more of lawnmower and we got to that french versus usa point uh, we wanted at some point to get some swedish runners and 
other countries in, but it's pretty hard to, to get a lot of activity on lawnmower because at the same time, because it's so quick, fast and frustrating at the same time that, uh, I don't know, speedrunning community don't stick a long time on, on such games, I think. But yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a lot of fun with those runners. The uh, slower runner on each team is going to go first, and then the runners are going to be faster and faster, hopefully. And uh, the last ones on Team USA and France are Mollyman and Jimmy, which are the two fastest run and runners in the world, actually. So it's going to be pretty pretty interesting to see how the teams are going to compete. Yeah, and it'll uh, be interesting too on our uh, our restreamer. <clears throat> Shout out to Sigma who's going to be running this behind the scenes. When you know what you're doing in Lawnmower, you can beat this game in five minutes. Um, I don't think anyone is probably going to get a perfect run here today. Uh, we saw plenty of people try throughout Ultimate Decathlon, right? And, and it was more like seven minutes that were some of our best times we saw for live races. So, um, you know, it might be closer to that. Uh, but that's not a lot of time. And we are going to be swapping in the next person as soon as one person finishes. This is going to be a relay race. So uh, it's going to be a lot of work uh, getting a new person onto the stream and then having their stream cropped and everything. Uh, it's going to be unclear what audio to use. So the transitions from runner to runner are probably going to be a little bit rocky, so to speak. Hopefully their their runs are not. They're, hopefully their runs are nice <laughs> and smooth and nothing but grass. Um, but uh, yeah, just know that it's going to get a, a little bit dicey as we go, but then eventually we'll get them settled in and, and ride out, you know, lawns 3 to 10 or something for, for each person. Yeah, we, we might miss lawn 1, but it's just a giant square of grass, so nothing too bad if the first like, 30 seconds on each run are lost into, uh, in the translation. But we're going to... I don't know what what times are going to are we going to get the perfect uh, relay time would be like 25 minutes, and anything <laughs> anything sub 40 is insanely good. I would say so. Yeah. Yeah, 45 minutes would be like one uh, one bad a bad run, one run that goes a little bit unlucky, and uh, four good runs. I don't know. A seven average would be insane, though. So I, I don't know what what to expect, to be honest. I know that Mollyman and Jimmy has played quite a lot and got a few sub-5 runs. Mm -hmm. uh, sub-5 in a race is almost impossible, I'd say. Sub-6 is insanely good. And sub-7 is something to aim for if you're very, very trained. So. Let's go, Nick and Moomoni. I'm going to try to get the hang of it and um, get... It, this is probably the most important race because the slower players can actually like go over time by 10, 20 minutes if they're very, very rusty. I hope right. It's going to... Yeah, there's there's no much. there's no floor on this, right? There's no... You, it, yeah, no It's limit. not like a platformer where... You, as long as you keep holding right, you'll keep making progress, right? Like, if you keep hitting rocks, your run keeps going. So, uh, we'll see. But as you can see, it's a totally different game now when the players know exactly where to go. They have it in their mind where they want to make every single turn for the whole game. You're seeing a lot of really precise sneaking in and out of these rocks. Um, this is a maneuver you are terrified to do in a blind race when you don't have the practice, but these players are going to be a little more willing to do some of that. Yeah, and the patterns should be, like, nicely smooth. Like, uh, Nick here going for the interior of the, uh, lone... Oop! <laughs> for <What>? first, and <laughs> then mowing five flowers, just ending it here. Uh, but they're going to try to replicate exactly the same thing every try, and that's going to help a lot, because you know what you're doing, and as long as you don't miss a turn, you're going to get very, very good time. So that's probably good for them. Sadly, a few turns were missed, and the uh, spawns are random i don't know if they're entirely random or if you mow the exact same section the the spawn is the same at the, uh, all the time but um the first spawns are not uh, don't matter because 
the uh, the spawns are on the grass that was mowed at the, when the previous fuel can spawned, I think, something like that. So it it's yeah. always on the f uh, first nine squares that the first spawn is going to be, and then it gets dependent on your on your route. So very very good progress so far. Uh, Nick, uh, two minutes in. Lone six here, and that's probably where things actually start to get complicated for the runners. Yeah, lawn six is interesting because they're so the the routes for this have been drawn up in ways that because the fuel spawns right next to you at the start, you almost always have to start out with some kind of loop into the level, hit some kind of problematic area and take care of it, then come back to where you know the fuel is going to spawn. <clears throat> and in some cases, it's enough to do half the level, then get the fuel and do the rest of the level, and, and then you're fine. Um, once you hit around lawn six, I want to say, um, you hit this part where there's a second fuel spawn, at least, that you need to get. And it's a bit of a question mark where it's going to be. So the, you know, the route is constructed to kind of corner that spawn into a few likely areas that you're going to be close to. Um, there's been a lot of thought put into the route. Um, but also the absolute fastest route is also a little bit more dangerous. Like even the, the world record right now doesn't do the, probably what is the all, absolute fastest thing, which probably involves a lot of snaking back and forth really quickly, which is just really hard to do accurately on the D-pad. So there, even for these players who have practiced and everything, um, they have some safe strats that they prefer to do and uh, it's uh, in a race, honestly, it's probably a really good idea. Yeah, and Landmower is such a short game that you can get very good times with super low, uh, unoptimized routes. Like, you can get sub-7 with just, like, your your safe route, trying to go slow at some point, as long as you don't, you don't die. And sadly, if you go just a little bit slower and you aim for a seven or eight minutes, um, you're going to lose a lot of time for each uh, individual mistakes. And we've seen the runner here die a little bit, and uh, that's that's what costs the most, I think. Uh, just slowing down and making being sure that your turns actually register where you want them to, uh, that's going to save you a lot of time. So Mooney finishes going slow here, loan six. Uh, just one loan behind uh, Nick that goes pretty fast here through loan eight. Loan eight is pretty easy if you know um, the route you want to follow, and yeah, no problem for them. To loan nine. Um kind of a tricky problem there's a if you sort of take the natural routes through this level you leave all these little just like a one patch of grass here and there all over the place in this level so you got to get used to doing these little quick left rights or up downs just to really quickly nip into that one square as you go by yeah a lot of uh 180s the uh, back and forth just to be sure that you get the, uh, that one square uh, we're not going going to see that much sneaking around the rocks, uh, trying to go as straight as possible when there are difficult uh, spots. We're going to see how Nick gets that one final uh, patch of grass here. Oh, nice. Yeah, Ooh, so yeah that's, that's not that. so easy to do. <laughs> because if you miss it and you go up and down on a rock, that counts as two. You're dead. Yeah. You're dead. It's not, not just like one rock that you hit once. It's just like over. It's uh, That's the kind of thing where you, in a blind race, you would be absolutely terrified to even try anything like that, right? You would probably go mm -hmm. straight all the way across and then you would do a big loop and then you would come at it from another angle. But once you start to practice that sort of thing, those those starts of quick little in and outs, um, you do start to build up a muscle memory for that, and you can start to feel confident enough to go for it. Yeah, for sure. But you don't want to go for too many of them at the start. So you <laughs> aim for those specific one, you know, ones you know that are worth it. And here we're going to oops that one oh, square no. is going to be hard to go back to that's sad all right is gonna yep. go for this nice and decent spawn nice slowdown here just making sure it works 
fortunate and... spawn to close out what is going to be a seven minute time. Oh, oh no! 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 Oh, I was hesitating. You saw my voice slow down because a, a part of me said, don't say it. He's not done yet. And then it happened. So That's... Team USA is not going to be moving on to their next runner. I'm sh I wouldn't be surprised if the next USA runner like hit start and was ready to go and then was like, oh, no, wait, shoot. <laughs> yeah, that, that costs a lot of time. That's about a minute lost. Uh, Lone 10 is very, very long and... Uh... Sadly, that, that will happen. Whatever your skill level, uh, blind runner or not, you're going to make those little mistakes that cost a lot when you are at 90, over 90% 90 of the, uh, the loan. Um, so that uh, gets Mooney a lot of time to get back into uh, the race. Uh, they're making good progress. I think the start was pretty hard for them, just getting back into loan mowing, apparently. The 9 is... A long 10 is done for Nick, and the uh, second runner, that's going to be Scotty. Um, yeah, Scotty will be coming up Scott. on the left side for Team USA. Um, yeah, Mooney hit a rock on the right side, but it was just one rock, and there wasn't a lot of grass mode, right? So wherever the fuel spawned, Mooney was going to be close to it and could have a pretty good ch chance of saving it, but then hit a flower. And one rock and one flower is usually not good enough. I think maybe if... Uh, you know, the fuel spawns right in front of you or something, you'll be okay, but... Yeah, that's one half of the, your fuel tank gone in one go, uh, and plus the time you got and the time you need to go back to the uh, fuel can, and it's usually, usually over. Uh, if you are super lucky, you can survive to two rocks, but it's pretty unusual. You, you cannot count on that. Um, yeah, that's why I... there are no route that goes over rock, I think. Mowing flowers, yes. Going over mm. rock, I don't think so. Well, there is a pretty amazing moment in the current world record where oh. Jimmy at the, as, has most of Lawn 8 complete, and it's everything is way over on the side, and he just goes for it straight over the rock. I don't know if that's part of the route. I think it was just a decision he made in the moment, and it worked out. So it uh, it is possible. Ooh, barely getting to the fuel is Mooney that time. I haven't watched the world record yet. I've seen the time. No! Oh, <laughs> that one turn. All right, Cody already on Lon 4, going pretty fast. Lon 4 is one of my favorite to, to speedrun. Uh, there's just something about it just lines up so nicely that you can draw these big sweeping paths through the whole level and just yeah. come perfectly back to the fuel. And you can go over uh, the entirety of the loan just going back to an empty square once, I think, which is pretty amazing. A lot of the uh, other loans have like less satisfying patterns. Yeah. So Lawn okay. 5 has this really nice right side pattern that you can use to mow that all cleanly. One little patch left over as Mooney fuels out again on Lawn 9. USA is is creeping up on maybe lapping Team France early on. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's going to be hard to... <laughs> the, um... Oh, interesting pattern here for uh, Scouty on Lawn 6 going for... Uh vertical lines uh, a lot of players go for horizontal patterns and, mm -hmm. and that seems to be working that leaves a lot of empty like <laughs> one squares and that's sadly they're all next to a rock and you have to get yep. those turns correct i mean there's a reason they were next to the rocks right because those are the squares that scotty was like oh well that's risky <laughs> uh, i don't want to do that uh, so nope okay does hit a rock but this can be saved with really good play nice, nice. Ooh, and then a right. fortunate it's fuel spawn right on the way. And nice, nicely done. That was not so easy, but yeah, they got it. All right, half of the of loan nine done for Mooney has to uh, get back to it. But sadly, the entirety of the uh, left side here is yet to be uh, moved. Yeah, so we're seeing. Um... Team USA, Nick and Scotty, they've got a, a pretty set route in mind for each level, I think. And uh, 
I think Mooney not so much. I think Mooney is relying on, you know, a couple familiar patterns, um, but for the most part, just some some innate muscle memory about what are, you know, good things to do in any given moment. So I think that's probably accounted for most of the difference. But there, finally, is going to be lawn nine complete for Mooney. Moving on to the final lawn. Ooh, I like that pattern for uh, Scouty. Lone uh, 8, trying to go safe, but uh, more a lot of the uh, left side here and the right side on the first go. And then it's going to do the entirety here, but sadly, yeah, the <coughs> fuel spawn is not so fortunate. Alright, just one one last pass here, nice spawn. Oop, alright, <laughs> we're good. I was scared for a little bit, but now, Lone 9. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe Scotty could be actually beating their PB here, I think. Oh yeah, that's true. I do not have the player's PBs up and ready as a diligent commentator. But this has been a really good run from Scotty so far. Oh, lots of rocks here. That, that noise of nightmares is going to haunt the runners, the blind runners especially. The next few uh, few hours. Five forty six yeah, actually is Scotty's PB, so possible, very yep. tight. That's uh, actually faster than what I remembered. And that one final patch of grass is going to uh, put a nail in the coffin. All right, those synchronizations are <laughs> yep synced up. So this is tough. Um, I played in the Ultimate Decathlon where there was a side uh, team tournament. And I found it more stressful to play as a member of a team because I felt so strongly that I did not want to let my team members down. And so I'm, I'm hoping Mooney is in a okay space mentally to keep going and close out Lawn 10 here. Yeah, that's actually pretty, pretty hard for the... Uh... Your mental state you have to let go of everything while speedrunning you have to focus purely on the game and when you're part of a team you certainly think about your performance how your performance affects the other players and that's usually a pretty big distraction and uh yes yeah, Scotty gets uh 6 12 that's a very very good time that's monstrous we were yep. talking about how like sub seven's a good goal to aim for 6 12 wow all right, Team USA is going to be moving on to their third member. It's going to be Lack Attack. You've maybe heard of Lack Attack from playing other games. You know, pretty good at Zelda and a couple others. But has gotten the lawnmower bug and is signed up for Team USA. I don't know how the Zelda skills are going to transfer to lawnmower, but there is a little bit of grass cutting in Zelda games. That's true, <laughs> you do have to <laughs> use the sword to cut a few of those bushes. Yes, well, there's five uh, players on uh, each team, so there are three more still to go for Team USA, four more for Team France. Yeah, Mooney is at 80%, that's where the uh, tough part starts. That one final patch of grass here. Just trying to get some straight lines, getting the... Uh, Fuel tanks going for it here. <gasps> no! Oh, oh, one wrong turn, 99%. The, the, the game beeped at Mooney to let them know that the fuel was low. And I can't help but feel like that's part of what spurred the decision to not go slowly for that last patch of grass. Yeah, this is hard to recover from when you're racing. This is very, very difficult mentally. Like attack is... Uh... Having a weird lone four here. It's going to walk in the end. Yeah, it's funny that like one one little patch of grass gone wrong is considered like a, a bad lawn four just because it's so beautiful and perfect when it goes right. Yeah, and because it's so easy to recognize the, the pattern the runner was going for, mm -hmm. um, usually... So, you, you cannot tell if like that lone five is supposed to go with those straight 
patch is left and right, or if the uh, the ID has gone wrong just a little bit. But on LOM4, you you can know what the uh, the end goal was. LOM6 is pure chaos, so any any pattern is a good pattern. That was some very very good sneaking around the rocks here. Very impressive. Yeah, so I I never got like my really good run of lawnmower. I was playing for last year's lawn November, I think it was, and I I had a run that like would have been sub five, and I choked it on the final lawn. Um, but then I I stopped playing all year until lawn November came back around or whatever, right? So I I forget everything <laughs> in this game, <laughs> the specific routes. Uh, but what Lack Attack did at the start of lawn six rang familiar to me, so I, I think Lack Attack is definitely studied up on some optimal strats. And there is the finish from Mooney. Moving on to our second member for Team France, going to be Magic K. All right, that's where the uh, pace has to uh, get faster because I want my fellow teammates to mm. <laughs> get to join the line. <laughs> Lack Attack is already on one seven, making good progress. The uh, the split goes red pretty fast, which uh, means the uh, the PB is very very good at that point because I don't think they've died so far, and uh, there's still a lot of time to to lose and just a few mistakes at that skill level. And uh, the player seems to be very very greedy with their uh, fuel um, optimi optimization, like they take the fuel can as late as possible, but that's really something you want to work on when you're speedrunning the game, because all the, that back and forth uh, actually takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. That's where probably the route uh, helps you the most, like you know how many squares you can mow before having to go back to that fuel can, and you end up not taking risks, but just executing on things you know you have the time for. Those two squares were probably not meant to stay up there, <laughs> but here we are. They're on the way. It's fine. And then a fortunate fuel spawn. I don't think Lack even needs it, but he will oh, grab it yeah. just in case. It's just there. All right. Low nine. Going to be mowing some... out most of the right side, but then kind of abandons the the route. I, I guess you can't get all the way around and back to the fuel just in time. No, you cannot. Sadly, you have to go back, uh, and you have too much to just do uh, too much fuel to just do uh, one quarter. So, so you you are left like doing just a little bit uh, less than what you want to do, and uh, having to go back. But uh, good patterns, good sneaking around, and yeah, finishing with the uh, middle squares here. And a great run from Lack Attack. 517 coming into the final lawn. Team USA is is playing like extremely well. <laughs> it's not just you know, this big gap between the players, uh, it's not fair to to just put it all on Mooney or whatever. Um, it's it really is phenomenal what they've been doing on average. It's also a bit of a shame, too, because uh, the first time we had this competition, it was Team France that took it pretty handily. Uh, and it just seems like the further away we've gotten from Ultimate Decathlon, uh, the more that Team France's skills have, like, rusted a little <laughs> bit. Uh, some, whereas some players Jimmy are... is out there banging the drum for Team USA every November, trying to get him going, getting him hype, getting him excited. And uh, it looks like they've brought it a little bit this year. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I, 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 I haven't done my part regarding like trying to get everyone motivated. Uh, I find myself in a weird burnout uh, situation regarding spearing, but it's so such a great game. I'm, I'm pretty happy to see those runners actually. Uh, running and uh, Magic K is on loan six at 3340. That's a very good time. Trying to go slow and yeah, loan six. That's where really the the any good speedrunner is going to have to make some weird decision at some point. Trying to get to uh, the, those final squares here. 
Yeah, I think even in the speedrun, I mean, aside from the absolute most optimized speedrun, which is where you're literally frame perfect the whole time, at that point, the RNG is, is the same, so you know where the fuel can is going to be. And even if you don't know, even if you're not perfect, when you play the game enough times, um, you start to get, you know, like one frame off of perfect or two frame off of perfect. Often enough that you start to recognize the popular, you know, the fuel spawn for when you are one frame too slow or two frame too slow. And so you're ready for a very limited number of possibilities. Um, th if that's not the case, right, if your name is not Jimmy Poopins or Molly Man, basically, um, Enlon 6 eventually something is going to happen and you just have to react to it. And it's the hardest lawn to do that in. Mm -hmm. For sure. 747, like attack, just uh, sub 8. It's uh, very, very good. As we said, everybody sub 7 is almost a, a dream. Xonox 42 is going to try to mow as fast as possible for the uh, being the uh, force, uh, force runner for Team USA should uh, be able to uh, handle that. It's going to, be, uh, going to be pretty hard to lap again, Team Friends, but uh, Magic K is making good progress here. Five minutes in, lone eight. We actually had Lack Attack come into the chat shortly after finishing. <laughs> uh, his, his daughter walked into the room at some point during the middle of the run, and uh, that was part of the reason for one of those fuel outs, I think, late in lone 10. <laughs> it happens. Um, Zarnax uh, runs a, a couple of different things, but among them, I'm pretty sure, is uh, at least Zelda 2. So another another Zelda runner here who is... I guess there is something to this cutting grass with swords thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lone four. Let's see the patterns. Yeah, it is very satisfying. Oh! And this is not, but should be okay. Yeah, good spawn, nice. and we're back on track. All right. It's not often you expect to be in a scramble on lawn four, but there it was, and Zarnax handles it. Magic K is being a little bit safe here on lawn nine. To be fair, it, it can happen anywhere. Like a, a missed turn, mm -hmm. except on lawn one, or where maybe no one will notice it because it's so short. But as soon as there are flowers and the path is laid out for you at some point, um, it's pretty easy to miss. Oh, Xonax here, sadly, 67% in loan 5 has to start all over again and misses a turn again. All right, we're back, back on track. He mows those other three flowers, he'll have a pretty nice open road for the rest of the map. <laughs> at some point, you have to think about that, yeah. I loved yeah, some of the strategies we saw for Ultimate Decathlon, where players were much more concerned about having a nice, safe route for their races. We saw people that would just like, just go all the way across the middle of the screen, through flowers, whatever. Just cut a straight line, three tiles thick, straight through the map, and it's just like, alright, whatever, sure. Yeah, when you have to finish and be consistent, uh, some strats are very, very different. If you can grind for world record, you are obviously going to take as many risks as possible. But if you, if like nine other runs depend on your landlord performance, you're going to uh, get some new emerging strategies where flowers <laughs> don't are not so important, not so bad to be mowed. We've seen some runners actually like mow the entirety of Lawn 7, um, every single C-shape add uh, uh, one pass to cut into it just to be able to go back to the fuel and be consistent in it. Believe it or not, Lawn Mower does have another category. There's the All Flowers category, where you mow <laughs> all of the flowers intentionally. You are constantly waiting for... It. There's a lot of, like, mow three flowers, wait for fuel. Mow three flowers, wait for fuel. <laughs> it's not a terribly exciting... Uh, category sometimes, but it also is because you never quite know where the fuel is going to spawn and you always want to cut it as close as possible by mowing as many flowers as possible. There's the finish for Magic K. Uh, so it's uh, it puts some of the like randomness and fear back into lawnmower speedrunning if you, if you were <laughs> missing that, uh, you know, from not being able to play the game blind anymore. Consider the all flowers category. 
Oh, if you want to play the game blind, wait for next uh, next runs. It's going to be a randomizer, and it's <laughs> awful, but it's also the best. Uh, last uh, year, we done the first uh, randomizer run, and it it went for a while because it's it's actually very very hard to like for the game the entire game to be like lone six making a lone six in the randomizer the easiest one because it's already so <laughs> random. Yeah, I, I hope we have enough time to show that off. That's going to be at the end of our event today. Um, for anyone just tuning in, we are most of the way through our relay race now. Zarnax is the fourth out of five competitors for Team USA. Almost done mowing this lawn. Uh, Jiken is up for uh, Team France now. The third player for Team France. Uh, so we're a good chunk of the way through this relay race. Uh, but then we are going to have a knockout tournament which is a, a really fun, interesting format where, um, you know, I, there's sort of, there's some uh, racing, like like literal just cars driving in the real world, sort of racing events um, where the person in last, you know, sort of falls out of the race and everyone else keeps going on certain checkpoints. It's a lot like that. Uh, and so that's what we're going to do next. And then if we have enough time, we'll, we'll show off how evil the randomizer can be. <laughs> yeah. Lone five for Jakin. It's uh, it's going great so far. Two minutes in. Oh no, Xonax! That was that was so close. Uh, all right, we have to start all over again. The lone nice pattern here with some sneaking in between the rocks, uh, leaving a nice clean pass through the uh, left section. Same pattern here. This is very, very tricky to execute on. It's uh, pretty hard to be so accurate. And, yeah. But the precision here is no problem for them. I had the same thought watching Zarnax mow the top of this left side and hits a rock and did not get a fortunate enough fuel spawn to get back. So is going to fuel it. That's just kind of the nature of Lawn 10. It's so big and these big rows of rocks force you to go way up to the top or way up to the bottom. It makes your trip across the screen that much longer. And so if anything goes wrong, there's just not enough time to get, you know, from one corner, the bottom left, all the way to the top right. You just need to hope that the fuel is not that far away. Yep. And now the, uh, the pattern is all over the place, so they're going to improvise like they can, sneaking around the ro those rocks here, trying not to get to the fuel. It's all the way back to the right. Got a little nervous when Zarnax went up in the middle section and then had to go back down to get around the rock, but did barely have enough time to get to the fuel. 100%, there is a finished run, sub 7 for Zarnax before we move on to the anchor for Team USA. It's going to be Jimmy Poopins. Yep, so Waldo Holder to finish the run. Going to see how well they... Uh... They can hand, uh, handle the pressure. I, I think it's going to be okay. Oh, chicken here. Um, almost done with Lone 7. Having to restart those flowers will uh, take a chunk of your fuel if you're not too careful. So the pattern is not so easy here. Jimmy is trying to train an AI uh, on <laughs> the game recently. I've been doing the same a few years ago and I got something running pretty okay. It was sub super unoptimized, but it uh, it knew how to go from grass to grass on all loans except for loan 7 because those C shapes are very, very tricky to navigate. Mm. I can see that. Now, unfortunately, we did miss the very start of Lawn 3 for Jimmy because he, he does a very particularly aggressive route um, just to get all the grass around the rocks very quickly without wasting time going off of grass tiles. Uh, we got to see a little bit of it at the end while the stream caught up, but then we joined him in 4, and away he goes. Will he be able to top the phenomenal 6... Uh, what was 6... 19, 6... 12? Was it? Six, it, was, it was a very low six from yeah. uh, from Scotty. Round five is pretty great as well. Sadly, it's one of those where you have to go back on cut tiles. And that final pattern, very well done. 
sub 2 starting alone 6 and that's where the practice can get you a lot of time saved because this pattern at the start can be very tricky oh that's a rock i think where's the fuel it was too far oh uh, all right it's just the first half of the the level we good same pattern <laughs> he's going really <laughs> aggressive yep almost forgot that when fuel can all right lawn eight is complete forge i can gotten kind of a weird spot um mode like kind of all of the easiest tiles and left all of the hardest tiles right at the end of the lawn um which if it's unintentional can be really daunting psychologically knowing that you're like i'm gonna lose so much time if i screw this up but this is all the hardest stuff right here all in a row i probably got to do it all at once no. because i don't want to go for more fuel yeah the overcompensation you make one tiny mistake and you just turn a little bit too early after that and you die i you think i saw least? jimmy pick up the fuel at the last possible frame which will actually cause the lawnmower to stop you have to kind of like repress the d-pad in order to get it going again yeah this is the only way to stop the uh the mower it's to uh, take the uh, the fuel can at the final frame possible the last frame possible it's 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 actually pretty weird because it it's so rare that you don't know you're stuck for just a little bit having to repress the direction if you if it's not intentional. Yeah, I, and it was very quick actually. I barely caught it from Jimmy, so I I think actually he was anticipating it might happen. He's just that experienced that he he took his finger off the D-pad or well I don't know it depends on the person but um, we you know was ready for that repress in case it was that frame perfect situation. Look at the snaking from Jimmy. Trying to be just a little bit more optimal. I cannot it, stress how difficult it is to do that sort of right down, right up, right down, right up, right down, right up, right. That sort of snaking pattern. It's probably easiest going that way than snaking left or up or down, but it's never easy to do those inputs so quickly. Yeah, the rhythm has to be perfect as well because you cannot like make a single mistake. Oh, interesting pattern here, going for the all the center row, and then going back and forth for the uh, bottom and top part of the uh, left side here, doing the same on the the right. That's uh, actually pretty impressive because very very few cut tiles were uh, run past again. And final really rows. nice fuel spawn to finish it out. No! Oh, I was like, two flowers, he can still make this work. Five flowers, not so much. That's the two, it's always the second mistakes. It's it's always like the mm -hmm. overcompensation or the the surprise that gets you. It's not the first first flower cut. It's okay. You can you can recover. Knowing how to recover is is it's not so easy, but you you, you could do it. And sometimes just like the time your brain actually recognized a mistake was made, it's pretty easy good to get, pretty hard to get back on track. Pretty easy to make a few back more mistakes. In, was playing so scared, and yeah, is gonna go really slow to finish it. I approve. Nine minutes is a very solid time. Here's Jimmy now on the final one. And I'm pretty sure even if he does perfect, is not going to be able to touch the run of the day so far from Scotty. Uh, but there are some more runners left to go here for Team France as well. We've got Steffler up now, our fourth member for Team France. Actually living in Swiss, in Swiss so Team France is the <laughs> least French <laughs> team we've seen in a while. But uh, it's okay. Speaks French. That counts. Uh, all right, so Jimmy gets a 618. I think it was 612 by Scotty. I might be mistaken, but that was still very, very fast. Sub sub 66 is so hard to uh, to get to. That's a very, very good run by uh, by Jimmy. And yeah, uh, stuff. yeah, Team USA made a convincing argument for being the best uh, lawn mowing country. 
uh, this is this is two one now between these. This is the third year we've done the. Somehow this tradition has lasted <laughs> for three years. I'm uh, honored to be a part of it, uh, and I hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. Yeah, this, this is the best of nineteen. <laughs> so <Yeah>. we'll be <laughs> back. Oh, I would love it. I would love it if we were all still racing lawnmower in the year 2040 or whatever. All right, Steph, lower. The, uh, the redeeming factor would be to beat Net Time by Scotty for either Stifler or Molly Man, or mm -hmm. both. And Molly Man's definitely got a shot. Uh, recently posted uh, a new PB, I think, this Lawn November, I want to say. Yeah, 4.53, and Watercore is 4.52, something like that. Yeah, I think that's right. Lone 4, as satisfying as ever, with a different pattern that we've seen from the other players, but still pretty efficient. Lone 5, usually we'll see uh, a left and right pattern. And the route really, really uh, takes into account the fuel spawn, which is pretty nice. I love that there is those two tiny patch of grass, and then the fuel spawns in between them. <coughs> Stefla waits here actually for the fuel can and then goes. That was pretty fun. Knowing that they had to uh, get a, an extra fuel can to complete the levels. Right, yeah, no point like running over to the right and doing a little bit of it before, you know, getting the fuel when you know is all I need is one more fuel can. So just be in the most optimal position to pick up that fuel can wherever it is. And then once it's there, finish. I like this lawn six. So you were saying most people opt for these horizontal lines and we're seeing a lot of that yeah. now from Steffler. I think it's easier because the horizontal lines are actually pretty long in between two rocks. So you can get a good feeling of progress. I don't know if it's the correct <laughs> route, but it gets you in a good mood because you know uh, you're actually making uh, Good progress in the lawn. Oh, yeah, too many mistakes in a row. Sadly, that one first flower cut with the corner was not too bad, but uh, didn't work out in the end. And yeah, lawn seven, uh, I would understand if someone considered it was the hardest. It's those not, uh, those three by three squares in, in, in the C shapes are actually very hard to get in one fell swoop. The, the pattern is not, not easy at all to execute on. And usually the players will do like one um, back and forth and then go back for that final third row. And it's the uh, easiest, but it's uh, it's not as clean as going in one fell swoop. And uh, it still works. Stifler gets a good second try and here <laughs> turns too fast and it's impossible. If you... If you turn too early, there is no way you you correct your route before you die. All right, so an unoptimal first fuel can there is going to have to make do with whatever happens for the rest of this lawn now. And the spawn is going to be all the way to the left, so this could this warms finish my heart. here. The people in chat who are seeing this game for the first time and going, this looks really fun. Uh, <laughs> good news, first of all, this is a homebrew game. So I can absolutely just comfortably tell you, you can just Google where to get it and download it. And it's not piracy because <laughs> someone made it and they uploaded it to, I think you can find it on romhacking.net. Um, yeah. So it's it's pretty easy to, to grab an emulator and, and give it a shot. Um, and it's, you, it, you cannot know what it's actually like to play it without trying it. So, uh, highly, highly encourage anyone who's even a little bit curious to go ahead and give it a shot. Yeah. And it's probably the least inconvenient thing to download and try if you have already an emulator up and running for the NES, because it's just like drag and drop the, uh, the file and you are mm -hmm. ready to go. So. It's uh, very easy. There's no 
backstory to learn about before getting into the game. The <laughs> lore is pretty self-explanatory. The lawn must be mowed. So Steffler leaves um, a couple of tricky spots on either side of Lawn 10 left to go. Ooh, so greedy here, but it works. Uh, I thought he would have gone for the fuel first and then yeah. the grass after, but... This is so nice and so well executed. Oh my god, 613 6 actually beats Jimmy here. One of the best times we've seen tonight. This is a very, very good run and a very impressive Lum 10. So we have one more member left to go. Uh, Molly Man, the developer of the Lawnmower Randomizer. Uh, one of the best lawnmowers during the Ultimate Decathlon. Uh, had the record for a little bit, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Before uh, this um, mo uh, Lone Movember actually had the world record and Jimmy beat them. So one of the best speedrunners I know, actually. Mollyman is very, very good and very consistent at a lot of games. Uh, had very, very good time on Chippendale on the NES and mm -hmm. many, many games. Starting Lone 4, apparently. And yeah, the, the, uh, the sort of buffer gets caught up this, the, at any moment now, like a <laughs> like a dragster waiting for the lights to go. This lawnmower takes off go. running. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the uh, runners are getting ready for the Noka tournament. So don't leave if you want to see more of this, this uh, lawnmower action. We have two uh, more races, more events to go. And yeah, Mollyman gets a very, very nice pattern here. Doesn't go for the fuel, knows that it it's okay. Well, they follow a few uh, squares of grass, lawn five. Everybody gets that same start. It's pretty fun. And then the uh, remainder of the loan is pretty different depending on your skill level and your route. So the lawn goes exactly as Molly Man planned it here for number five. Just been a, a perfectly smooth run so far. I'm pretty sure. We didn't see those earlier lines, but it can be safe to assume those ones went okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too scared for uh, Lone 1, 2, and 3, especially at that skill level. Exact exact same pattern as Jimmy, except for that one square uh, on, at the center that Jimmy went for. So a little bit of uh, extra movement in the top left meant that Mollyman had to improvise a little bit going to the right side for the fuel. Uh, but I think Ken finished this out if oh, he wants to and nice. does. This is a very, very convincing uh, start of the run here. Absolutely. We're back to these three by threes in these, yeah. these boxes that you were talking about. And there is no uh, what's called a Hamiltonian path as a sort of a mathematical construct where you... You visit each square exactly once, um, like a Bridges of Cronensburg sort of thing. Uh, there is no pattern through that 3x3 three three in and out that does that. You do have to double back at least a little bit. And that's a complicated maneuver. That you have to sneak in a little left-right or a little up-down somewhere. And if you're a little bit off on that, there's a row of flowers all too happy to meet you. So... Um, it can be a really punishing level, but that one's over and done with. We're on to eight already. Yep, and so far... Oh, no! <laughs> I was about to say no mistakes, <laughs> but one turn, and that's all it takes. Okay, that was at the start of the level, first half done, so I'm going to do the exact same thing all over again, getting to the, uh, the fuel and uh, trying not to miss the turn this time. The fuel spawn at the center, and Mollyman goes for a little bit more grass in the center before uh, going for that fuel. Interesting yep. decisions here from Molly Man. It's a, it's a compromise between safety and speed, I think. Um, is, is trying not to put himself in a bad position where he's reliant on fuel to be in a certain spot, um, but also, you know, doesn't want to take too much of a risk. So I kind of liked what he came up with there in that moment. I think it worked really well. Yep, I don't know if it's uh, because of that uh, spawn at the uh, center of the uh, left, uh, left square, but 
Yeah, that worked out in the end. I think it's just for safety, to be honest. I'm not going for two because he died once. Maybe it uh, has to have an effect on on your run and your decision making. I think yeah. they can do it Ooh, here. It's is going very, for it. I think close. you're right. <laughs> yep. Actually, not not that close even. All right. Yeah, I don't think Molamine was even worried about it. Um, the fuel spawns are random. There are some things that dictate where they can and can't spawn. They only spawn in grass tiles that have been mowed at the time where you picked up the previous gas can. Um, and if you look into the code, there's actually only like a, a fairly random scattering of places where it can actually spawn with slightly differing rates at which it can appear in each location. No. Um, but for the most part, after a certain amount of time, I'm not sure how many seconds it is, it will spawn, and it will always spawn in one of those mode gra uh, grass tiles. So our perfect run, uh, well, it, it got ruined in Lon 8, but that was a really quick death. This one was more costly. Maybe enough to cost Molly Man the best time of tonight we'll see could still do it it's very close but yeah maybe 20 seconds to go a oh, few squares don't get the fuel oh it does go for the fuel oh, all right we got yep oh and that's sub, sub six sub six that's that's very very impressive and almost made it look easy i think like those few Lone six, nine, uh, seven were so perfect that uh, they had some margin of error. And uh, yeah, that was a very, very good run. So tiny bit of redemption for Team France, but sadly um, had about, I don't know, 12, 13 minutes uh, slower than, uh, than Team USA this year round. Yes, well, thanks everyone for, for coming out and, and competing. Um, in the in the relay race, we are not done yet. There is a, a, a pretty complicated knockout tournament about to happen. So uh, I'm actually not sure like which four runners or we're gonna have on screen, and um, it's gonna be difficult to keep track, especially because Jimmy Poopins is organizing the event, but also I think racing. So um, this this is the part of the program where uh, it'll be it'll be interesting. Uh, for yeah. for me at least from the from, from up, <laughs> the, uh, up here in the commentator booth, the runners are Jakin, Magic K, Zigwigui, Scotty, Xanax, Mollyman, Nick B, and Jimmy. We're going to get eight players, and then the four faster, and then the two faster, and then one winner. So eight, four, two, one. Um. So it's a little bit steeper than. Uh, usual knockout, but it's going to be uh, pretty pretty interesting to see who who gets in because just a one single mistake can actually cost you. Even if you're a very fast runner, uh, Scouty uh, is going probably to have to replicate the uh, c sub seven uh, they got earlier. So, considering the best time we saw tonight, Moiman, Jimmy, Scouty. And Magic K maybe are the uh, the favorites, but uh, I don't know. It's going to be good. Who? What's your prediction? Jimmy wins. Mollyman wins. Mm. Yeah, this is tough. We, I mean, we saw during the Ultimate Decathlon where we had you know races of this every week at least, right? And it was quite unpredictable how well things would go or how poorly things would go for even our best players, right? This, this is just that sort of game where the slightest little thing can, can ruin everything and cost you 50 seconds or whatever. So um, I think it would be foolish to say that a certain person is definitely going to win this race. Um, but Jimmy has been putting in a lot of effort um, the whole month. Um, mm -hmm. He was he was playing Ninja Gaiden 2 and streaming actually to get the world record every day. And then when November rolled around, when Lon Movember rolled around, uh, he switched gears and, and started playing this basically every day. So if if any you know if I had to pick someone, I guess I would pick Jimmy. 
but really, it, it could be just about anyone. Yeah, it's one of those games where the races are very up in the air until it's done. Uh, the format, though, helps a little bit the more consistent players. Mm -hmm. So maybe, maybe actually the risk takers like Molyman and Jimmy uh, are going to have to slow down just a little bit, especially for the first two rounds, just to be sure to be in the top four and then uh, on the top two, I mean, and then on the final race, go all in. But uh, yeah, if you slow down too much, you're going to uh, have some trouble. So we are going to have on screen for the first race, Magic K, Cody, Jakin, and Nick B. Uh, but uh, off screen, are racing Zigwigwi, Mollyman, Jimmy, and Xanax that we saw running earlier. So, best four runners qualify for second round. So maybe all four runners we have on screen are going to be eliminated. This is probably <laughs> pretty unlikely, but uh, could happen. Yeah, it is. it is possible. I think we might be looking at... No, we're not. I was gonna say we were looking at the the bottom four in terms of PV, but that's not quite right. But um, Jimmy and Molly Man are not up here because it, it's likely they'll go on to the next round. So we want to try to show everyone uh, throughout the knockout tournament as we go. Um, I think as as simple as a game lawnmower is, probably trying to show all eight screens at once would not be so fun for <laughs> for viewers. So we'll just follow these four on their journey. And uh, we'll let you know. We'll try to keep an eye on um, the Discord to sort of report times as they come in from the other players racing off stream. Press stream is ready. All right, maybe we're all going to have only two players. Oh no, here we go, great. With the click of a button, there it is. Oh, so, so efficient speed gaming magic as always. Uh, all right, so we have to be top four. So sadly, considering the skill level of the eight runners, we have to go pretty fast. So the only loans I would like go for sub suboptimal strats would be loan six. 9 and 10, which have been problematic tonight for a lot of runners. Um, mm -hmm. If you're not able to go as fast as possible on the other 6 or 7 loans, it's going to be pretty difficult to qualify, I'd say. Yeah, it's interesting too, because there, there are some opportunities like we saw during the blind race, where the players were able to you know take your finger off of the button slow the mower down go around these corners carefully um if you had a perfect deathless run all the way up to lawn 10 you could probably be pretty sure that you could take 10 easy right and open up space to slow down take turns slowly and and uh just be more accurate um but that's definitely not what these runners have been practicing and and racing and, and you know, uh, doing attempts of over and over. So I think probably you want to just rely on that muscle memory you've built up from your practice. I guess it depends on the person. <laughs> yeah, I guess. All right, so... Countdown will start, and the runners. Jigen probably had the l slowest run for the for the night out of the players. So maybe the warm up is enough for them to uh, get to the top four here. But everybody except Mooney was sub ten, right? I don't that remember. seems right. Yeah. So. I'd say sub 10 for a is par for the course, to be honest. It's so difficult to be sure that you, you'll get like a deathless run or even like something good by any, any runner standard that, I don't know. I'd be pretty happy with sub 10 for any of those runners. 
But I think, like, if you want to be sure to qualify here for the first knockout, first turn of this, this knockout, you want to aim for sub eight. And yeah, I think are. that sounds right to me. All right, here we go. The first round of our knockout tournament. This is just going to be one playthrough of the game. So this one run, this you know five to ten minute span, is what's going to determine whether or not you stay in this tournament or if you get knocked out. It'd be at a sli slightly slower level one, but it's, it's not too bad. And Jigen, Jigen dies on loan two. It's okay. It was all pretty, pretty fast. It's not what decides the outcome of the race, I'd say. Magic K going slow here, trying to be sure they can beat oh. loan two. <laughs> oh, wow. Just barely gets there. The last thing you want is to have a scare on lawn two of all things, right? That's gonna Yeah. It's gonna mess with you a little bit for the entire race, probably. Lone three is the hardest of the easy loans, I'd say. Those rocks and those those strats are easy enough to understand and hard enough to execute on that you will probably die quite more than you'd expect uh, when grinding the game. But uh, yeah, it's done for the uh, left side of our screens. Or meanwhile, Nick B and Scotty are almost done with Lone Four already. Yeah, very no. close on the right side of the screen. Nick in the lead. Yeah, the, the racers are pretty synced up now, so we we can sort of trust our eyes as to who is the furthest along. Lone Lone Five shows the most different strats, I'd say comparing between different skill levels, like a lot of runners follow different paths and the uh, efficiency of some routes we've seen, especially Molly Man and Jimmy, was very, very different. Lone 6 is obviously pretty intense for anyone. But Nick B has like some very, very good sneaking skills like going around those rocks just like that one turn after it, all those rocks very very well done and i think their route and the horizontal routes is way faster than what scotty is doing leaving patches all around having to make so many <laughs> turns oh well i oh, didn't no. see the, the rock hit there don't that know is what a happened. very late fuel out for Nick. Yep. So drops back actually even behind Jaiken, who is also on lawn six, and with a clear magic K also on lawn six, still very close between our four players on stream. Yeah, Jaiken is actually like in second place here with a very, very good lawn six. 80% of the way. Oh, it's the rock. It's at least the fuel's not the rock there. And, yep. <sighs> Too far off the uh, fuel can. It's going to be false place immediately. But uh, Lone 6 is done for Scotty, and they can go as fast as they want with the remainder of the game. Oh, I, I think maybe Nick thought that was the last patch of grass or something. Just mowed straight over the grass and then kept going right over a second rock that surely would have been death. That's the only thing I can think of for, for why there was no attempt at a turn for several squares there. It can be tricky when you have a route in mind and like according to your route that should have been the end of the level but you messed up and left some stuff it might have been something like that that happened yeah probably i don't even know where that uh final patch of grass was i thought it was it was over as well i got pretty pretty stunned that it was not uh not over but uh, yeah, Lone 6 is very, very difficult. It's probably harder to speedrun than to do blind, because if you do blind, you go blind. We had a lot of first tries on Lone 6 on uh, blind races. Just because you have to go slow, you, the game just... There's no clear path to follow, you don't have a route, so eventually you, you'll get there if you don't die. But uh, And there, there are very few multiple mistakes in a row to be done uh, when you don't follow route. Um, so, yeah, it's it's a very, very difficult one, but it's done for 
Nick B lost a lot of time there. Uh, maybe it's going to cost them the uh, qualification in this uh, knockout format. You have to go for top four. We have eight players. And Molly Man is done in 5.43 and Jimmy in 5.36. So very close for wow. the first and second position uh, places here. So they are definitely going to be moving on. We could be seeing more finishers from our other off-stream racers at any moment. No, I looked over because I saw some text, uh, but I won't, I won't spoil what it said. So, um, Jaikin out of fuel oh. pretty late into Lawn 8. Yeah, that's one costly death. Sadly, the uh, for Magic K and Jaikin here, it's going to be pretty difficult to catch up, uh, especially for considering Scotty is almost done 80% of the Lawn 10 here and Nick B, I hope that was not commentary curse. <laughs> nope, that rock. Oh, it hits a rock, but can just close out the lawn Ooh. anyway. Could not have got <laughs> to the right. fuel, but could get to every tile of grass left on the left side of the screen. That's a nice sort of realization from Scotty in that moment. 602 is going to be the yeah. time. I was not even sure that was that f the final patch of grass. Uh, could have been like one or two extra squares on the uh, right side after that uh, one corner, but uh, yeah. So 602, that's even faster than their time earlier, so that's one of the fastest time we've seen on, on, uh, on stream, right after uh, Molly Man's 558. So yeah, very, very good run. Yeah, that should so be enough. We, we do know that our fourth player is going to be Zarnax, finishing off stream 627, which is the reason why Nick has tapped out here in Lawn 9. The other players are definitely free to, to keep going, though. We won't stop them. Yeah, maybe they don't even know that uh, it's already mm -hmm. too slow, but uh, yeah, as you can... He's a little bit faster than their previous run, so still going as fast as possible through Lone 9. Lone 9 has been okay for most of the players. It's as, Lone 10 was especially hard for the players when he took a big chunk of their time on Lone 10. And we've seen a lot of that here. Uh, also during the, uh, the blind race, uh, Lone 10 shows with all those <laughs> one squares of grass in between two rocks that uh, the maneuvers can be very tricky to be execute. Yeah, Lawn 10 has definitely been the source of the most heartbreak for this, for this year's Lawn Movember. And it's only partly because of the design of the stage itself, right? Certainly it is a very difficult stage. Um, but I think probably the pressure of knowing that it's the very end and you're almost done and if you can just do this, I think that's probably another factor as to why it's been such a problem for our players, just like it is now for Jaiken fueling out pretty late into the stage. Yeah, for sure. If you could run the game and in any order, what would be your first <laughs> two, two loans? Uh, 10 is very high on that list. And maybe... I had a lot of problems with 7 when I was running this game. Yeah. I'd said 6, 7, and 10, probably for the first few. But any the anything but lone one you put on the uh, the final final spot <laughs> is going to give you some problems because in any speedrun the final final few seconds where you it's everything is on the line it's pretty pretty tricky. So nine oh seven for Jaken, Magic K eighty four percent of the way but has all the difficult patches left to do. Had to make a decision between getting the rest of the lawn or getting the fuel. Oh, actually, there's more on the left side, so yeah. getting the grass would have been a bad move there. Oh, the fuel, though. <laughs> you don't want to leave without it. Is going to go ahead and just go over to the other side and does get the spawn. Yep. That should be enough no to close this there. out. Lots of slowdown, but 940 and uh, 
we have all four players that are going to qualify for the second second run. It's going to be Molyman, Jimmy, Xanax, and Scotty. Xanax being the uh, fourth player qualified, so it's going to be pretty difficult for Scotty and Xanax to uh, get a spot on the third round, but uh, they're certainly going to try to go as fast as possible. Yeah, well, consider this. We saw Jimmy post a like a 619 or something uh, during the relay race and Scotty got a 602 just now, right? Yep. And Zarnax got a 627. So even even the best are beatable for both these players. And Scotty is the most consistent player we've seen with Molyman with a 602 and a 612. Um certainly very very impressive like they could go for sub six and they're probably the closest to their PB as well. So the consistency is also maybe something worked on and uh, that's that matters a lot in a race setting. Yeah, that's true. That is a really good point, actually, to if you're if your PB is five minutes and you're consistently getting six minutes, that's a pretty different story from someone whose PB is 530 or 540. And then is consistently getting six minutes, right? Like that is a a higher level of of performance uh, consistently in a, in today's race, sort of in a comparative way. That I think is important to keep in mind, just how well um, both Scotty and Zarnax are doing. What's what's Xanax PB? I don't have the uh, let's see, let's leaderboard. See. I, I got it right mm -hmm. here, five ten actually. That's quite oh. low. I didn't realize Xanax yeah. had got that low. Very close to KTH's two-year-old uh, five oh nine run from the Ultimate Decathlon days. Uh, I think that was from Lone November. Uh, oh, that was two years 2019. ago. Yeah, two years ago. Uh, I just, done it, during like the UD7 was that long ago, huh? Was... Yep, yep. Time flies. <laughs> 2020 was a very weird year for time perception, though. So yeah, I suppose so. So that's I still consider that like a well. So what was it? I think it was 516. I think was KTH's old record. I wish I could remember these things. These are the these sort of little tokens and things that the the speedrun community remembers and holds on to. I, I love that part of the speedrunning community. So I'm a little sad that I can't pull out the exact number. But yeah, cut, cutting the cutting the KTH I think is like a is sort of crossing the threshold from being a good to like an elite level lawnmower in my mind. Yeah, KTH was five twelve. Uh, during UD7, ah, okay. got 5.9 during Lone November 2019. Uh, Sage got uh, 5.57 during Lone November 2019 and was world record at the time. And then. Uh, 4.57, yeah. 4.57, and yeah, and FCJ, Molyman. FCJ got their 4.57 last year and Molyman got a 451 last year and a 452 this year and Jimmy got 449 during Mo November 2021 so yeah very good times all, all overall and Xanax is currently six on the leaderboard Steffler who saw today is ninth of the leaderboard and Scotty is 14th actually so yeah we have some very good players on screen on screen right now We'll see how much these leaderboard times really matter when it comes down to mowing the lawn in a competitive race environment. Because one of the things we learned, I think, from Ultimate Decathlon, where we had players who could submit sort of more polished speedruns, but the main events were always like, you have, you have to perform it live in a race, right? We saw that sometimes these things always didn't line up. The person who had the best PB wasn't always the best racer in this game, so... I think you might be onto something with Scotty's consistency, though mowing a lot of flowers in long no. two. We didn't see so many loans too uh, during the relay, but uh, it's proving to be a little bit harder than what I remembered. Meanwhile, loan three doesn't pose any problems whatsoever to Jimmy Xanax or Molly Man, uh, finishing almost all this at the same time. So Scotty. He's about 20 seconds behind. Lone 4 
very satisfying where when everything goes right. Look at, unfocus your eyes, look in the middle of the screen and try to focus on both Molly Man and Jimmy as they play Lawn 4. It's very satisfying to watch them. They're basically in sync on opposite corners of the screen. Uh, though we do got to sync up the runners a little bit and as we do that, the sync is broken, unfortunately. But <laughs> it was beautiful for just a little bit. So Jimmy getting a weird start on that lone, uh, lone 5, giving uh, Molly Man a chance to... Uh, Catch up, I think. I don't know if it it was all as intended, but uh, works well in the end. Very very close as there are symmetrically finishing lone uh, five here <laughs> and syncing up again. And Zarnax is right behind them, right? Let's not get too focused on the top two here. Zarnax is literally seconds behind in a game where you can lose fifty seconds at a moment's notice. So. Uh, this is still very close. Even Scotty is, you know, one bad death away from being right back in it. Yeah, for sure. Scotty has proven that uh, the consistency was there. Lone uh, 6 uh, going a little bit faster uh, following Jimmy's route. Apparently, the uh, fuel spawns might be a uh, reason there. Mollyman taking a hit, but uh, the fuel spawn was pretty nice. Trying to go for a finish here and a little bit behind Jimmy, but Xanax right behind Molly Man finishing 95% here and just a few turn away. Uh -huh. right. I was wondering if uh, Xanax was going to try to go right over that rock at the end of the lawn. I don't know if he had enough fuel to survive the trip, but only needed the grass on the other side of it. It would have been something but I definitely respect the decision not to do something like that. We saw a fuel out from Jimmy. It wasn't too far into Lawn 7, but it's enough to put a gap between Molly Man and Jimmy. Yeah, actually, Xanax oh, <laughs> was ahead of oh. Jimmy right before that uh, round one wrong turn. But uh, yeah, Molly Man is in first place now. Uh, do remember that you have to get to top two here to qualify for the final round, so... Uh, being first doesn't matter too much. Uh, it's going to matter a lot more in next race. Right. Yeah. Uh, if we if we see Molliman absolutely mop the floor with everyone, that's okay. Is right as long as you're still better than the other two. Uh, it's looking like it's likely to be Jimmy, but Zarna or Molly, yeah, Zarnax is very close to the end of Lawn Seven. Yes, does manage to clean that up. Is hot on Jimmy's heels, and it doesn't look good for Scotty. Uh, is probably going to close out Lawn 6. So I opened my big mouth, didn't I? Nope, not enough to oh, stop Scotty. Okay. Lawn 6 is complete. Um, so, you know, is ready to pounce if anything bad or is to happen to some of these other racers. Xanax certainly trying to uh, keep the uh, distance between him and Jimmy as close as possible, but it's uh, pretty hard and uh, yeah, and they have about a half a loan of uh, difference here. Loan 9 is not the hardest, but uh, the optimization of uh, Jimmy route here might be the deal breaker. We'll see how well it goes as long as they don't make any mistakes. I don't see how Xonix could uh, catch back up though. Molly Man on Lone 10 making a very, very convincing run here. But once again, it's not that one you want to uh, finish first necessarily. Although it's good for the uh, the confidence. Um, certainly, and, uh, yeah. certainly. So it's been a fantastic start to Lone 10. Jimmy pretty comfortably gets the fuel that he knows. He's got, you know, routed out such that he, he can get to it comfortably. He knows. No. Five, there it is. Five or five for Molly Man. There's <laughs> no way anyone in the world can top that. Like this is the fifth best uh, run on the leaderboard chrono today's runs on uh, speedrun.com. Yeah. It's it's insane. Only three people in the world have ever gone as fast as Molly Man just went right now live, and then Jimmy Poopins with a five thirteen is almost the same. Only seven people have ever gone faster than that. So. Uh, number one and two with a bullet, Molly Man and Jimmy Poopin's going to be moving on to the next round. Yep, so those two were a very, very safe bet as uh, who would qualify for the final race. And, uh, well, I wouldn't say very, very, very safe bet. This is lawnmower after all. Yeah, but if you had to. If you had to pick was... two, those would be the two. That's usually in speedrun 
races, the, the leaderboard is a good guide on who to bet on. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not ever the, uh, the, 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 the result. Oh, we would not make races ever, like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Lawnmower especially has a lot of buy-ins and small details, but as the runners get warmed up more and more here, I think, or maybe tired more and more as well, okay. um, Scotty is going to have their uh, slowest performance of the day. Still very, very good for them to have gotten a 602 live. I mean, any anyone getting being able to get sub-7 is uh, a lot more god. I don't know where is the, <coughs> uh, the uh, certification for able, uh, being able to mow loans, but uh, sub-8 or sub-7 is a good goal. So Zarnax finished as well, 6.22, uh, I believe was the time, a really great time. But uh, against the two best, at playing basically at their best, uh, both of these players needed to come up with literally PBs to, to qualify here, basically. So uh, unsurprisingly, they're not going to have it this time. But let's see if Scotty can sort of keep it together here late into lawn 10 lots of tricky grass left to mow and a fuel spawn that did appear at the top uh scotty went up through the middle and if this the fuel had spawned in the bottom right corner that might have been a little scary but no problems 743 is going to be the time so i guess we're looking at a fourth place finish for scotty and third for zarnax yep very well done uh, maybe a little bit disappointing for them considering the very very good runs they had earlier but uh, once again it's a tough game it's very difficult to be consistent so jimmy poopins and molly man will have to uh compete one last time on that uh, vanilla lawnmower run and then we'll have a randomizer so it's going to be pretty exciting for the uh, last few uh, runs we're going to see tonight but um jimmy is not favorite here for the day. I, I feel like Molly Man mm. had beaten them consistently in the past uh, three races we've seen them, so it's going to be interesting. Um, I don't know if they're going to top that 513-505 we are seeing on screen. It's going to be pretty hard. Uh, Molly Man made almost no mistakes here. Virtually lost about 15, 15 seconds. That's mm -hmm. very, very lethal for uh, Lawnmower. Yeah, this is this is absolutely too close to call. I agree. I'm really excited to find out who's going to be our our Lawnmower champion. Uh, I did just take a peek at the um, <clears throat> the race chat for the randomizer that is going to be coming up next because for some reason, for some glorious reason, Speed Gaming has gifted us four hours during a weekend afternoon here for Lawnmower. So. Uh, even with a late start, I think we're going to have enough time to do lots of this lawn, this uh, randomizer after this. Um, the randomizer seed was not tested, so <laughs> there could be situations where there are a lot of rocks in, in the corner and grass on the other side of it, and you got to do some kind of like suicide run in. So it might turn, it might blow up in our faces. I don't know. That that's just part of the fun of our final event, I guess. But until then. We can be serious mode here for our big finals between this, the two, it, it, some of the two best yeah. to ever do it. I wonder if it's possible to design a loan with the layouts, uh, existing layouts that are randomized. That it's impossible to finish. Probably. You'd have to have a rock wall, and yeah, if you get three rocks see. deep guarding one piece of grass, you just can't get there. Yeah, but... Oh, yeah. Is, is there enough rocks to do that? I think so. Yeah, probably actually on loan... Uh, on 10, for sure, on loan 8, eight, eight you have yeah. enough to square off a section and with uh, three, three, three rocks deep walls. And there's no loan mower inertia that allows you to cross just for one tiny gap. So maybe it's going... That would be very, very bad luck, though. So I think it's going to be doable, but it's it's going to be a treat to watch for sure. 
and I hope we're giving Speed Gaming their money back for, <laughs> yeah, four hour slot on this uh, Saturday afternoon. But here we go, final race, Molyman, Jimmy Poopins. Molyman oh. has been faster on the past three races, and we off, are off for a good start here. Um, there is almost no way, Molyman said in chat, they can beat that 505, but they're going to do their best to be as close as possible to that and be faster than Jimmy, hopefully. Lone 2 has proven to be a little bit harder for the uh, less experienced runners, but uh, here absolutely no problem, following the exact same round, cutting the exact same flower and finishing on the exact same screen. Here we get the sync now. Uh, Jimmy's a little bit ahead once the sink, sink kicks in because Molly Man, I don't want to read too much into it, but you know, Lun One is a is as close to a gimme as you get in Lunmore, and Molly Man was kind of all over the place in like the first second and a half or something. It's almost like they weren't quite ready for the start of the race. I don't know what happened, but uh, it's enough to just put this tiny little gap between our two players for now, and uh, you know, it's possible that. This gap just stays here. They both just play perfectly for the rest of the game, and that's what decides it, right? It is possible. I think probably that's pretty slim, though. Yeah, the round starts to change uh, from player to player, starting with Lone 4. Jimmy cuts that one flower consistently, and uh, Molly Man doesn't, so doesn't uh, uh, have the, quite the same speed, I think, but uh, still very, very good. Lone 5 is different as well, uh, although very close. And they finish with the same mm. route here this time, so... Yeah, the time difference stay the same. About two seconds. Do they do the same thing on Lawn 6? Well, definitely the plan is not <laughs> to mow the rock for Molly Man, so it's now completely off script. Part of the fun thing about Lawn Mower, though, is that you can incorporate sort of piece... Oh, he just overshot the fuel. Uh, you can incorporate pieces of your route into later segments if you've made a mistake. Uh, so it's it's not quite pure improv. Um, and it's it's kind of fascinating the, you know to be able to have your brain sort of look at the lawn differently and view it as like segments of, of pieces that can be moved around and slotted into your route yeah it, it's it, it's definitely a, a skill to have in speedrunning to be able to reroute stuff and be able to uh, t to accommodate for mistakes um but on lawnmower considering yeah. how hard it is to do and how fast uh the lawnmower goes it's, uh, it's actually way trickier than on some other games where either you can think for a lot of time about your routing while you're playing or the adjustments you have to make are way uh, smaller. Here sometimes you have to adjust your route in such big chunks uh, to be still efficient that uh, usually it's hard to do in a timely manner. Mm -hmm. It's it's rare that speedruns have enough room for that sort of improvisation, right? There's there's so much of speedrunning. Nice little snaking there to for finish absolutely optimally from Jimmy. Um, rare for a speedrun to allow for that amount of improvis improvisation and anything close to an optimized run. That was very unfortunate. Mulliman hit those two flowers and was just one tile away. Hits a rock early on. This is not going well. The Jimmy has got a lot of room for error in the final two lawns to walk away with the win here. Yep, died on loan at uh, the start of loan 9, but it uh, doesn't really matter uh, concerning the mistake Molyman made on loan 8. Um, careful though, that you cannot make too many mistakes considering how fast the players are, but uh, yeah. <laughs> We saw some All right. some squirreling around there from Jimmy in lawn nine, but is going to be able to close it out. So when I see a player do that, right, when they miss a turn and they just start like wigging out and going all over the place, um, I can't tell if my mind is like, uh oh, they're they're in a complete scramble, they're 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 helpless, or if I'm like, wow, he managed to maintain control and composure in that difficult situation, <laughs> right? I I really don't know how to get a read on on that situation. 
Usually, I try to follow the pass one square off of the squiggling they did to figure out what what <laughs> was their intention. And usually, it lines up. Uh, well, the man dies here, sadly. I had enough fuel to mow uh, the oh. remaining grass, but and uh, Jimmy Poopins dies here. So the uh, one level difference stays the same. Uh, the runners make the same uh, mistake at the same time again. So this is not a blind run. So the runners would be free to open up their opponent's stream and kind of check in on how their race is going. I don't know if anyone wants to do that in the, in the, in the middle of the tent <laughs> game. This is probably like the worst game to do that because <laughs> just following around or having the movement on the uh, side screen could be enough to throw you off pattern. Oh, That's there it is. Teeny, Our finish. Teeny Jimmy teeny Poopins with 541. Yeah, I was going to say, I wonder if these players are thinking, oh, God, he's going to be done at any moment now, right? Um, it's difficult to concentrate on your mower when you're having thoughts like that. But Jimmy does manage to rally after that really late death in the final lawn. We've seen how mean lawn 10 can be, just like it is now for Molly Man. Molly Man probably... Uh, a little bit frustrated with that run, uh, making a lot of mistakes and greedy plays that uh, they haven't made uh, in the earlier runs. So maybe trying to uh, catch up a little bit with their mistakes and sadly it doesn't pay off. So loan, all the loans here have been troublesome for them. Uh, I think it's that one mistake at the start of loan 6 uh, that threw, threw them off for the remainder of the run. Mm -hmm. uh, feels like maybe a little bit surprised. Uh, still, that's step seven. That's uh, a very, very good time. But uh, I don't know how they do it. Like, it's step seven dying on every single loan after <laughs> loan stick. Like, it's it's insanely fast. You can only die once. You have to You have to keep it together after each one and come back and do it the way that you planned it. And that's what he did. So fantastic job from both players. Congratulations to Jimmy Poopins for winning our first Lawn November knockout tournament. Um, I don't know Did if you... our plan is to interview anyone or jump into the randomizer. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's, uh, that's a good question. Do you remember how long it took to one of the players to beat the randomizer last year? I think it's it over was... two hours and 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I thought you meant the first person to finish, which I think was like oh. around 40 minutes. Like it was long. Yeah, um, it, it was. It was harrowing for sure. But yes, it, sir, it could it could absolutely go that long for someone who is not a lawnmower expert. Absolutely. Uh, it's completely brutal. It's so how it works is every single square on every single loan is randomized so you can have pretty much anything any pattern any well any pattern's not even the right word right because it's, yeah, it's except just a mess. for <laughs> yeah except for anything that your mind can comprehend right you cannot <laughs> There is no route. There is nothing. So it's it's very, it's completely insane, and it's so hard because the the loans and the symmetry and the patterns, even when you play for the first time, they make sense, right? There's a square. Mm -hmm. You can go all the all the way around. In the randomizer, I think you can have rocks on the sides that kills you instantly if you don't turn <laughs> immediately. So it's it's pretty difficult. Before we we get into that wonderful madness, we do have Jimmy Poopins here in the call with us. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? You are. Well, I'm doing great. Uh, the races have been fantastic from up here. Uh, you're our first knockout tournament champion. We've had a couple of these long Movembers, but this is the first time we did this format. What does it mean to you to be our big winner today? Uh, you know, it feels good. I, I feel like lawnmower is an interesting um game because it's it's kind of like a cult following just in general but even the people that regularly play it um so i i guess part of me wants other people to succeed but reading at reading a lot of these comments people seem to be happy with their runs their times moly man had an absolutely like 
insanely good run in the second round. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, both of us did, but I mean, his he, his was still like much better and, and would have won it for him. So I'm, I mean, I'm happy. Um, you know, I'm excited to see what happens next year. I think this is a really good format for the for the race. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So. So you're the you're the reason this happens every <laughs> every year. Um, what can you uh, take this opportunity to talk a little bit? It's a difficult question I'm about to ask you, but what is it for you at least that sort of makes this game special? Um, well, the first time that I knew about it was the AGDQ race. I don't know what year it was, but it was a race between Boney. I think Nightmare and Lucky, mm -hmm. um, and that race was just like so much fun to watch. Uh, and I think pe like the game, it looks fun. It, like some people might think it looks like a meme game or something, but I was like, I want to run this game. Like it looks a lot of fun to run. And I was one of the first people, actually probably the first person to actually like try to take it seriously and route it. Um, and no one really did it for a while until Twin and, and um, everyone Ultimate Decathlon kind of took it up. But uh, Lawn Movember kind of started as a Carnavember like competitor <laughs> um, because it rolled off the tongue so well. And I was like, yeah, let's just do that. And then I was trying to think of different things we could do for it. And um, there's there was kind of an ongoing joke. If you look at the speedrun.com leaderboard, um there's just a bunch of us times and a bunch of french times and prior to 29 uh prior to 2019 it was like the top 20 was like all french times and like me and maybe one other person mm -hmm. so um i was like you know let's try to rally team usa and see if we can beat france um so, I mean, that's kind of the legacy of it. I, I'm happy that we get enough people uh, playing every November. And it seems like we're getting most of the regular people returning and then some new people. So I'm really happy about that. And I guess we'll see what happens in the upcoming years. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the enduring legacy of Lawnmower. Um... So thanks so much for, for doing this and for coming to talk to us. I, I understand you're going to be participating in this randomizer event. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so how many, have you done many randomizers or do you prefer to stick with the original game? I actually did enjoy the randomizer a lot. I think it helps train your just general like decision making because mm -hmm. In even if you think of the regular game, it's like when something goes off track, you have to make some very quick decisions as to how to adapt. And you also tend to have to make, if you want, at least you want to go fast, you have to make some very quick, um, like hairline turns and stuff like that. So uh, I think the randomizer helps with that, and it's it's fun just to do that. With the randomizer, it's tricky because. The game is hard and sometimes you can get some forgiving patterns, but sometimes the lawns are just like really, really difficult. So I guess we'll see. I love that this has been a completely untested seed coming up, so it could completely explode pretty early on with a virtually impossible pattern. Uh, it's it's going to be silly, it's going to be fun, and I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. I hope it's completable. If it's not, I'm not sure what we'll do, but um, <laughs> I think if it's I don't think anyone has had an incompletable seed yet. It's theoretically possible, but pretty unlikely. So we'll see. All right. Well, I don't see any reason to, to dilly dally any longer. Let's go ahead and any longer. Ba -bum -bum. Yeah, okay. let's, uh, let's get some randomizer up in here. All right. This is going to be our final event, though, with, and there will be no more lawns left to mow for a little bit. So I guess we'll see. I love that this has been a completely untested seed coming up. So it could uh, so completely we're gonna have three explode early on with a virtually impossible this, pattern. As I try to talk uh, about myself. Don't worry, we'll get the audio started. Silly, it's going to be fun, bit. and I'm really looking forward to it.
It's uh, it's going to be Jimmy, Zarnax, and Jiken are the three who are brave <laughs> enough to face the lawnmower randomizer. Um, yeah, this is uh, even some of our strong players were like, you, you know, you know what, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, she can join, saying as long as I don't have to finish because it's it's so so brutal and it's very hard and. It's actually straining. The, the the game itself is okay, but the pattern recognition and the routing on the go actually helps quite a lot. The randomizers throw all that off the window completely and goes like, you 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 don't like fun, right? And it's it's pretty difficult to get a reason or a sense of progression or even like. A decision making going and we'll see how it goes but um, they will have to mow flowers and go over rocks and that's actually very difficult to do correctly and at some point you'll need luck as well so it's really a combination of all the worst possible elements of the <laughs> game but it's also very fun because you have that sense of discovery all over again it's like a new game with uh, and it's pretty funny and the first level is almost identical to the uh, vanilla first level and then level two you start to understand why it's going to be difficult and as soon as the rocks roll in it's nightmare completely but it's pretty fun to watch <laughs> that's true it is regardless of whatever happens to the players uh, we can be relatively certain that we'll all have a good time up here in our commentator booth and over in the chat. Um, and uh, so, yeah, Jiken is is fully anticipating, you know, not doing well in terms of, like, progressing through lawns or whatever, right? Um, but I think is is just so ready to have fun with a silly thing that I think probably regardless of what, what happens uh, in terms of fuel outs is, is going to be having a good time. And I hope that's true of all our players, which I think might actually include Molly Man. I might have misspoken. Um, yep, we are apparently. having a... Yeah. So that's cool. Yep. They made the, uh, the randomizer, so... Mm -hmm. Thumbs up for that, and yeah, we saw <laughs> a few a little glimpse of the uh, lone one here. Just the players checking <laughs> if uh, the pattern is uh, is the same for everyone. The seed is correct, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited because it's always weird. It's not a randomizer in the same sense of um, Zelda or Metroid because it's not a puzzle on how to beat the game it's more like a test of this instant decision making i don't know exactly what skill it improves but uh resiliency for sure is one of them mm -hmm. oh yeah and you start at a random place meaning you <laughs> don't even have that one square that three by three of safety at the start it's just like the nine safe squares can be all over the place meaning you don't even know or have an idea of where the first fuel can is going to spawn which is another problem of course so yeah yep, it's, it's a good thing to point out because you know speed gaming we do a lot of randomizers here of all kinds of different games uh but so much of the core game and structure of the game is intact in those randomizers right like when you see an enemy you can usually count on that enemy behaving the same way and you probably have a route on how to deal with it even if that encounter with that enemy is happening in a slightly different place or whatever right uh but but here at lawnmower like very little of your route from the original game is going to matter at all here so yeah. it it really is um it really is random i guess it really is chaotic yeah, we need a Super Metroid randomizer, but the rooms <laughs> it's, themselves are randomized, like the individual blocks. Just the you know, tiles. The just rooms get on. are yeah, the tiles. Uh, the rooms aren't this in the same order, but the tiles in within the room, except for the doors, are randomized. That's pretty much what Lawnmower is randomized. 
I also like so, yeah. just combining lawnmower with Super Metroid and Zelda. Like you, there's just like a power up on the lawn that you gotta go get. <laughs> yeah, make that happen. You go, you take that uh, elevator to Brinstar, and you you end up in Lone Six Randomized, where <laughs> you can get your boots. And as soon as you finish the uh, Lone Six, you go back to the elevator. That would make absolutely no sense. But oh no! What if that. what if the fuel like spawned in other games? And you, oh you, no! You had to go to Brinstar <laughs> to get your fuel can. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, his gravity suit is in Lone Nine. <laughs> yeah, that would that would make so for some pretty funny. Oh yeah, if you die in Lone Mower, well, if you fuel out, you actually go back to the previous game you were in, and you have to find a new fuel can to keep on going. As you as soon as you touch the fuel can, you keep on mowing immediately, and as soon as you die, you go back to the game you were in. All right. That's Sounds great. pretty much. I need yep. to get in, in touch with someone who knows Lua. <laughs> Something put together some kind of fancy script. So there so... was um there is a French language restream, by the way. We the because of the ultimate decathlon, there's a, a sizable enough French audience for lawnmower. <laughs> uh that uh we did put together that on on our our other language channel and that's where molly man was was doing a, an interview for that but pretty shortly i think we'll be able to get rolling yeah i'm pretty excited to be to be honest to see the patterns and trying to understand how we ended up in that situation but uh, loan one and six are going to be okay the small loans two and three should be doable and even starting with Lone 4, with that many, many flowers on screen, is going to be pretty f difficult. And I think Lone 7 is one of the hardest, because those yes. nine first squares are randomized. You might not even be able to do like just one flower and back and forth until the fuel spawn and you can keep on going. You will have to join those first squares. So it's going to be uh, difficult. All right, Moliman seems to be soon ready. We're going to have about an hour to uh, see if we have at least one finish. <laughs> yeah, I think it's likely we'll have at least a finish. Um, and pretty likely that we'll have multiple. Can just enjoy this this lovely music i've so there have been i can while, while we have this downtime i can talk a little bit about um at least from the mystery tournament side of things what lawnmower has become because this game was sort of discovered by speedrunners right that agdq is right oh no no my story is going to get interrupted by the race starting in about 40 seconds uh that agdq race between bony nightmare and blecky those are three blind racers uh and they were racing it because it got used in the finals of mystery tournament and it was such a hit with uh the viewers one of those racers was jorf actually who forfeit and hated his time playing the game <laughs> but everyone loved it as a race as a moment, as a thing, as an idea. And so the mystery tournament community has gone on to make their own lawnmower games. And they've been used in the finals of other mystery tournaments. And so it's it's become a theme to always have, there's Jabarf in the chat, to have a <laughs> lawnmower game in the finals of mystery <laughs> tournament. I did it, I finished my story. I think they're about to start any second now. Yeah, all right. There it is. Here we go. So, yeah, lone one doesn't make any sense. Lots of empty squares. And uh, we'll see the players try to make sense of it. And Jimmy tries to, to sneak around and be efficient, but just going back and forth and just cleaning normally the, the, uh, the loan seems to be working well for Xanax. Everybody finishes almost at the <laughs> same time. And 
Yeah, here we have uh, actually a pretty nice pattern, to be honest, with uh, lots of lower on the left side of the screen and nothing too squared off. Some uh, of these little yeah. nooks, like this this area on the right side of the screen, you can see it on, say, no, Zarnax just moated, I guess, but um, getting into that little area and getting the grass and then getting out of it, that's not trivial. And there's no pattern like that in the original game, right? You just have to come up with how to handle that on the fly. And that's what the randomizer is really all about. Yep, and that's where the 100% uh, flower is going to help you <laughs> if you have experience with that category because I think mowing flowers is completely valid as a strand in the randomizer. Uh, very nice lawn three to be honest, uh, but careful with those rocks on the side. You will die if you hit uh, them head on uh, because the, you're, you are going to take multiple hits if you uh, touch a rock that is on the, that's on the side. And that's something that's actually very helpful in the original game is that all the squares on the side of the screen are always grass so you always have that route of safety just going around the screen trying to get the fuel here you don't have that there is no place you're safe uh, except for the corners but uh, you don't <laughs> want to hang out in them like forever so it's uh ooh, jimmy is, n is oh, he's going to be able to make it nice Joining both Mollyman and Zarnax on lawn four. Pretty quick progress through those opening lawns. Jaiken just very close to the end of lawn two, but does fuel out. And that's a clear, Ooh. actually, of lawn four from Zarnax. Yeah, Zarnax making very, very good progress. And uh, so far, the lawn seems to be actually doable. Uh, with <laughs> lawn five, with a lot of rocks uh, scattered all around. Uh, the left side of the screen seems to be very difficult to access. Uh, the rocks and the uh, flowers are almost in a line to uh, completely uh, cut off the, the side of the screen. Xanax doesn't hesitate to cut a lot of uh, those flowers, which seems to be a good decision. And the bottom corner on the left side was completely inaccessible uh -huh. uh, without yep. cutting flowers there. At least it's, it wasn't a, a rock, a double rock situation. <laughs> Speaking of yeah. double rock, Zarnax twice over the same rock late into lawn five. Technically a lead change here, but Jimmy actually fuels out just as I say that. Went up too early, missed the fuel, and actually Molly Man completing lawn four means our three players in the lead are basically neck and neck. And Jiken also managed to get past lawn two and is very far along three now. Yeah, and that there it lawn is. three is actually pre was pretty difficult uh, considering the size of the lawn. Lawn four didn't seem to pose so many problems to uh, Jimmy and Xanax, but Molly Man took uh, a little bit of time to complete it. It's pretty easy to die uh, if you try to not cut flowers and be fuel efficient, but if you are just waiting for the fuel to spawn like uh, Jikin is doing right now, it seems to be uh, working pretty well for them. So we have uh, Zarnax and Jimmy in Lawn 6. And just to point out a, a question from the chat, I've never seen this game before. We're two layers deep. First off, the original Lawn Mower is a homebrew game developed in 2011. Uh, so, you know, you couldn't have got that back as a kid on the NES. Uh, and then furthermore, this is a randomizer of that game where all of the tiles are all scrambled up. So we're two... two uh, factors removed from your typical NES game with what we have on stream right now. Lone 6 did not pose any problem to uh, Jimmy actually finishing it in a almost faster <laughs> round than the, the uh, original Lone 6 <laughs> with a lot of uh, lines of rocks making it easy to navigate so that was pretty well done. That one nook on the uh, bottom left side, once again, one that, uh, is a little bit difficult to navigate, but uh, no problem for Xanax. Uh, almost beating the uh, loan here, as dating at the end, but uh, did it pretty fast. All right, loan seven, that's where the uh, difficulties start, because you have a lot of flowers on loan, uh, loan seven, and that means that a lot of grass requires flower cutting. So you are going to take risks. And uh, if you don't wait for the fuel to spawn, it's going to uh, be harder and harder. Cutting 
flowers is a valid strat here just to make uh, routes for you. Nice, nice sneaking around by, uh, by Jimmy. So the big threat when you load up a, a randomizer uh, is Lawn 7 has the starting tiles on one side of a bunch of flowers and you're on the other side. Um, but many of those opening tiles are close to the spawn here, so it's very likely the fuel is going to spawn in a reachable place. It's a pretty nice Lawn 7, though it's still very difficult. I don't want to take away from the fact that Jimmy has completed it very, very quickly and is already on to Lawn 8. Yep, Lawn 8 is loaded on the right side here with a lot of uh, tiny uh, gaps between rocks. Uh, the left side <laughs> seems to be better um but uh yeah it's hard to navigate here those seven rocks that uh mixed to each other here seems to be pretty bad yeah that, that's don't... what made me laugh when i when i looked at it that little oh jimmy actually goes in there and gets it i was thinking why not leave that last well <laughs> do that as the yeah. last thing so you don't have to go in and out of that tricky little situation but jimmy gets it out of the way early Oop. They don't know where the fuel is going to spawn, which makes it super hard to navigate. And they don't know where to, to stand on waiting for the fuel. So it's pretty well done. Once again, the flowers are there to be cut. And oh, sadly, 96% uh, done dies. Lone 7 is a big problem for both Xanox and... Uh, Molly Man, she can start now. Tries to understand what he's supposed to do in that hell. But uh, so far, yeah. so good. Waiting for a lot of flower of uh, fuel cans to, to spawn. Trying to cut flowers whenever possible. I'm really. <clears throat> Jaikin has been quietly uh, doing amazing for the past uh, three or four minutes or something. Really catching up with the other players with some good solid play. Um. So we'll see. We'll see how Lawn 7 continues to treat everyone. This is why I was I was, <laughs> I was, was saying it, it was a, a nicer Lawn 7 than it absolutely could have been. But any Lawn 7 is still extremely difficult. And I think Jimmy might have done it first try even. Just yep. really, really impressive from him. Already on to Lawn 9. All right. So Lawn 9 and 10 are uh, wider, meaning that there are more opportunities for... Uh, spawns that are impossible to get to and that uh, bottom right corner here there's that one tiny uh grass tide to enter that square is fuel evil. spawns here <laughs> yep that's pretty pretty mean and getting in and in and out is not so easy jimmy waiting for fuel to spawn all right this is not good too because jimmy has mowed all of the squares in there so now there's a lot of possible spawns in that little area i would probably take out some of the flowers around that area just to open it up a little bit but no fuel is spawned in there yet so shows what i know all right now the uh, entrances are wider and we can get uh, around that area without too many problems but yeah the fuel now wants to spawn there and the fuel is never when where you want it to be but it's okay for jimmy lone nine oh no that's that flower was oh, too much 80 <clears throat> percent it's been a some really nice driving i saw from zarnax here late into lawn well i say late it's 61 percent, but it feels pretty late into lawn seven uh, hopefully the stream catches up. We do see, uh, we saw a 7 finished from Molly Man, and then before I could even really see how Lawn 8 was going, that is complete as well. So Molly Man joins Jimmy on this pretty difficult Lawn 9. Yep, Lawn 9 and Lawn 10 have a lot of flowers, uh, a lot of rocks are pretty wide, so it's going to be pretty much a, twice the same, same kind of thing, but uh, more rocks on Lawn 10 for sure. So it's where it's uh, very, very difficult to understand what you're supposed to do. And dying doesn't mean you've learned anything from your past attempt because there is no pattern. So it's pretty hard to replicate what you've done on previous attempts. Yeah. And, and sometimes like you, 
You may have mowed flowers and got used to having a path through the level that isn't there anymore until you mow it again, right? Like it, it can sometimes kind of, your previous attempt can even hurt your next attempt just because it's, it's not in the state that you left it last time. Mm -hmm. Jimmy is mowing a lot of flowers uh, on the center of the, uh, the screen here, trying to make for them a nice wide path. Uh, it looks like, uh, yeah. It's all intentional, I think, just to be able to uh, navigate properly and find ways without taking too many risks. Because as the more um, sneaking around flowers you have to to make, the the more risk you take every every path. So that's uh, probably the correct correct way to uh, to try and to attempt to complete the, the loan here. Lots of good good driving but uh it doesn't make any sense having so many tiny squares between rocks and so many turns the uh yeah, it, it feels unfair that you're doing so yeah. much work and so so much work still left to be done i do agree with mowing out the middle though the the screen scrolls while you are going sort of transitioning from the right to the left and you know what to expect in the base game because of all the patterns and stuff, but in this game you don't. So you're kind of reacting to what is being scrolled onto the screen as you drive. And it's just it's just unpleasant. It's just not fun to do. So if you have the middle cleared out and you have kind of like a safe transition from the right side to the left side, that can be a, a really comfortable position for the players. That's a very good time to get to Lone 10. <laughs> Jimmy mowing a lot of uh, the center flowers here. The rocks are all over the place. Uh, that one diagonal at the center here <laughs> is pretty mean because that means you cannot uh, clear out the center. Uh, there are three ways uh, from the left to right and the bottom, the, middle, the center of the screen, the top part of the screen with a lot of rocks. So there is no, cl no clear way on how to get uh, back to the fuel, probably. We'll see how well that's how hard it is. But uh, the less flower there is on screen, the better. At least the seed is fairly doable. I I feel like it's way easier than last year. I have a lot of mm -hmm. uh, going over rocks uh, mandatory in mind, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it's been exaggerated with time. <laughs> So we have, uh, Molly Man's been on Lawn 9 for a while. Zarnax is here now after conquering Lawn 8 and Jaiken on Lawn 8 as well. So pretty good progress from all the players. A fuel out for Jimmy on Lawn 10. I feel like we could be here on Lawn 10 for a while. The rock pattern in the middle of the screen is just very unpleasant for all kinds of reasons like you pointed out. The, the diagonal is especially because it it looks like there's space there, but there's there's not. You can't drive diagonally between the rocks, right? So it really is just a wall that takes up a lot of space, not just on, on one axis, but both. And uh, it guarantees that you're going to have trouble moving from left to right on this stage. And it's yeah, one of the and, hardest things in Lawnmower. And you cannot do the left side of the the loan and then go to the other side because of how the fuel spawns right so you have to get some back and forth going at some point uh, the fuel spawns here were very very convenient for uh, jimmy but now he has to go all the way to the left mow a little bit out to the right mow a little bit and then go back to the left and get this the fuel and it's going to be very difficult and each back and forth is going to uh, be the opportunity to touch rocks a little bit more and uh, yeah he, he keeps that one square of grass on the bottom left side it, in between two flowers for last i think that's a good idea He's very late, very close to finishing. There's a fuel out from Zarnax, and I saw Molly Man Ooh, one no! square away. Jimmy, no, no Jimmy, they forgot about it. That <laughs> one square on the. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, you, you, you were like, oh yeah, he's leaving it for last. It's a good idea. Yep. Oh no. 
Yeah, I, you probably missed it because the flowers, you, you go over them just a little bit, it leaves that tiny patch of grass you don't have to mow and since it's so close to to flowers and to rocks maybe they, they didn't account for it i really thought it was intentional because they had to cut a lot of uh, flowers or rocks so to get to it i don't know mm. but uh, clearly they forgot about it and uh... well if it had flowers on either side i could see it um I've been testing games for mystery tournaments, so I've been playing all kinds of different games. And um, a thing I notice is that if there is something difficult, like a, a tight jump or a, a difficult enemy or something, right? My eyes really focus in and sort of tunnel vision on that thing. And my peripheral vision of the rest of the screen is not active, it's not processing information. So it would be really easy to focus on making these turns through the middle of the stage and your peripheral vision just sort of missing that there was grass between two flowers. You might just sort of write that off as, as all flowers or something in your brain. Yeah, for sure. But once again, it's back there and he sees it and mm -hmm. goes back for it. And now... Oh, that was... If he went straight to the fuel, he would have died before he got it. He did need to turn after... Uh, or at least once at some... Oh, he zigzagged. He needed yep. to just go... And even then, I don't know if he could have got there. Yeah, I didn't know where the uh, the fuel was, and probably trying to scan the uh, right side of the screen. Didn't have the time to, to process exactly. That's something good about patterns in the game, is that as soon as the fuel is somewhere it's not supposed to be, the uh, level is asymmetrical, and you know it's the fuel can that spawned. Uh, here, you know, fuel can be anywhere, and the pattern doesn't, doesn't really do anything for you to help you uh, find it, so... Obviously... Jimmy makes a Herculean effort yep. to get back to the fuel. I've been watching Zarnax's attempt on Lawn 9. It has had multiple close calls at this point, but he's got the entire right side done, and is actually just mowing flowers over there waiting for a more advantageous fuel spawn and in the meantime opening up pathways in case the fuel spawns in that corner like it just did yep that's a lot of uh, flower mode waiting a lot of fuel ca for fuel cans but it's easier and easier to go left and right now which is uh, obviously a good thing the fuel has spawned doesn't know where middle of the screen Ooh. And goes for it. Nice. Good decision. And uh, Lon 9 <laughs> he's done. And welcome to Jimmy's hell for the past few <laughs> 10 minutes almost, actually. Yeah, yeah, you are not wrong. You are not exaggerating. Oh my god, Jimmy has to work so hard to get to this fuel sometimes. Uh, we also got another attempt pretty late into Lawn 9 this time for Molly Man, who zigs a little bit over to the right before going up to the fuel, and that was enough to spell the end of that run. We also have Jiken joining Molly Man on Lawn 9, so is really keeping up with everyone. That Lawn 9 and 10 are very, very difficult. You need a little bit of luck with the uh, fuel spawns, though, in those in that uh, lone 10. I feel like you could be super unlucky and not able to go back and forth to uh, grass and then fuel. And it's pretty hard to just, like, take a time to not mow any grass and just wait for the next fuel can to make a little bit of progress. You want to, to do something with uh, each refuel. And uh, sadly, it's very hard to uh, to be able to hear. The start is pretty tight. Uh, Jimmy found like a nice pattern to clear off the uh, top side of the uh, the spawn right of the bed. But uh, next, going to the left side here, there is no way with all those rocks, no straight line from. Uh, the left wall to the right wall, and that's uh, very unfortunate. Makes uh, the uh, the run very difficult to get to the fuel. Can't tell if Molly Man meant to mow those flowers 
before. Okay, definitely is intentionally mowing flowers before picking up fuel. I will give him credit uh, for that play. Um, which is smart. Uh, you know you're just about to pick up the fuel. You know you have enough time to take an extra hit, so why not get rid of some of these flowers that are not going to be in your way for grass, but could be in your way for a potential uh, future fuel spawn. So um, it's, uh, it's a little bit risky, but it's like a you take a bit of controlled risk for increased safety in the long run like it's a difficult sort of trade-off but i think it's it's definitely a good decision it's harder and harder to do because you need the fuel to go back to uh, the next fuel can sadly so now they almost cannot oh, do there it, it is. here yep nice okay taking a lot of risk being greedy i think it's necessary here they're oh, mowing one flower and going very slow, and that's probably a very good idea. That was risky as well. And Jimmy's done, actually. 20 minutes, mm -hmm. very nice. That's a very good time for... Uh, considering how hellish did that l lone 10 was. This is going to be a finish of Lawn 9 for Molly Man. Just very carefully, slowly edging around the corners. Had the fuel to do it, so why not? Joining... Zarnax in Lawn 10, who had 85% completion oh, yeah. fuels out. So first step here is to understand what's happening and uh, trying to register the routes. Uh, and Your heart's got to sink a little bit when you, you yeah. see those four diagonal <laughs> rocks right off the bat. But Molyman is mowing a lot of flowers intentionally, and I feel like this is a good idea, trying to clear out the um, periphery and being able to go all the way around. Um, it helps a lot, gets you some easy access fuel can for the future. And uh, yeah, I, I understand what they're trying to do. And yeah, just slowly going over flowers, not to do too much. And... Uh, just clearing out the level. Waiting for fuels probably to cut that, those flowers here, yeah. It's really fun watching Molly Man just kind of putter around slowly. And then whenever it's actually necessary, like, I really got to get back to the fuel no! can, just hits the gas, but this time couldn't handle the acceleration. I was gonna. I was just about to start talking about how that's not an easy maneuver, and I've I've loved Molly Man's control over it the whole time, and got away from him a little bit on that one. So this is uh, this is one of these trade-offs of I'm gonna go really slow and really careful and really safe. Sometimes it's still like you can never be. T too safe, right? You can never be safe enough so that you're completely never gonna have something bad happen to you. And if it does, you spent so long on that attempt because you were slowly, carefully puttering around all over the place, and it can feel like so much of your, your work just went down the drain. Yeah, that's probably the most mentally draining part of Lone Mower is there is no safe safe speed. There is no safe way to ensure progress. And most of the speedrun, there is like a sweet spot of speed and safety that gets you the job done depending on your skill level. You can like take it a little bit slower if you're st starting to, you know, stop making progress during a live run so you, you, you're you sure you're going to finish. And Lone Mower, if you start to go too slow, there's really no way to be sure that you're going to make progress. And the randomizer really puts that in like times 1000 and it's uh, really, really hard to be sure that you're making the correct decision when you go as slow as Molyman. But Molyman seems to know what they're doing. And, uh, you know, making a little progress. Check in with a heartbreaking fuel out on Lawn 9. <clears throat> made, a, made a little bit of mistake in mode of flower and knew immediately, like, I have to go to the fuel right now. And then took the most direct path, a very difficult path through a lot of obstacles, but did it perfectly and came up one tile short of the fuel right in the corner. Oh, man. Alright, 
80%, that's where it starts to be very difficult and all that uh, left side has all the, its flowers still, so uh, no way to, to be safe for Molyman quite yet. I'm going to uh, uh, use that uh, good fuel spawn to uh, cut a few flowers and have a little bit more space right at the center. Once again, favorable fuel spawn and going to go slow. Meanwhile, 48% for uh, Xanax. And uh, she can fuel as fuels out once again on low 9. The fuel out on 10 from Xanax. I'm just pretty invested in Molly Man's run right now. 92% mm. on the final one. I think Molly Man's figured out something though that row 2 at the bottom. Um, has a complete clear shot. After these these three rocks and that flower over here, it's completely clear all the way to the other side of the screen. And he was using that as a highway to do these long left and rights, and it guided him safely across the finish line. It was like a 26-24 or so finish for Molly Man. Yep. You're right, actually. That line seems to be... Uh, pretty important to uh, be able to uh, go from the left side to right. Uh, Xanox plays so fast compared to Molly Man and it <laughs> seems to be walking, but ah! sadly, those two rocks just before the fuel. Yeah, alone 9 took Molly Man half of its time, alone 10 took uh, Jimmy half of its time. It's really those two that uh, was, were pretty, pretty tough. The other eight were apparently way easier, and Jiking uh, made very, very uh, quick progress during lone uh, five through uh, eight, and sadly uh, is a little bit stuck on lone nine here. Xanax has to uh, figure out that uh, row two strat. Mowing a lot of flowers, like Molyman did. Yeah, just waiting for fuels, more little flower, go back to fuel. It's interesting that it was, um, Molly Man had mowed out everything on the right side and then sort of started working to the left. I didn't even really think about the fact that you spawned on the left side. <laughs> he had gone over to the other side and then started working over there. And I, I wonder if that was some sort of conscious choice or if that was just sort of how things ended up. I think it's just because of how the fuel spawned, because on his first few attempts he went for the uh, left side first, so depending on yeah if the fuel spawns on that one square all the way to the right or not. Nice recovery from Zarnax after hitting that rock. That rock in the corner, by the way, if you are not ready to turn immediately, you will take multiple hits on that rock in the corner and die immediately, so... You, you, if you're gonna hit that rock, you better be ready to go over it cleanly. 80% done. All those rocks are on the left side for the most part, so pretty good for uh, Xonax. If you find those uh, straight line, very, very good driving here. We're just gonna go okay. for it. Gets right. it! An aggressive finish, as was Zarnax's style throughout the race. Really nice finish. Yeah, didn't let go of the A button almost, and just went as fast as possible all the time. No, she can go once oh. or too far. Out of fuel blinking on the screen with the lawnmower one tile away from the gas can is, is like the, the perfect image to sum up the game, I think. Yep. Just that one, one mistake, one greediness, one move, and uh, it's uh, it's uh, it happens a lot when you, you 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 try to go as fast as possible and be as greedy as possible. Never let go of the A button. That that's that tiny square uh, patch of grass here on the uh, <laughs> in the corner. Yeah, it's it's awful. <laughs> there, you have that one one entrance and almost like a perfect circle around with rocks and flowers in between, and you have like those two patches that are completely uh, entombed in in flowers, and there's no way to to get to it, and you have to 
play with the flowers, but you cannot be too aggressive like that. And um, yeah, it's very, very difficult. And Chicken wants to start with that. I wonder if it's not better just to finish there or yeah, start making pass uh, as soon as possible, as soon as you have like a little bit of fuel. But sadly, the fuel spawns there. All right, he has a one extra wrap now. Suddenly, there's no like good clear shot to open up the this side. Yeah, it's so hard. I think you can hold B if you want to accelerate. I think both buttons do the same thing. I I never would even consider being a B button accelerator. Definitely A <laughs> over here. Oh, Jimmy's, B Jimmy's Team B. Maybe instead of Team USA and Team France, it'll be Team A and Team B next. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what's the proportion of speedruns that are played with one button constantly pressed. Like, mo over 95% of the speedrun is that one button pressed. Whether yeah, it's left like di button. direction or run button or, yeah. I, t I feel like there are lots of platformers that have just that run button pressed the entirety of the run. Yeah, and I'm, I never, my inputs are not as good if I have to be holding a B button and then be pressing an A button to jump or whatever. Those A button, those A inputs are not going to be as accurate as they would be if I wasn't holding that button. So I end up like doing weird claw stuff where I'll, I'll hold the B button or the run button with my index and tap with my mm -hmm. thumb or... Yeah. Some people will like piano the controller, and that just feels completely bizarre to me. But I understand why, because of this this darn B, this this hold the run button all the time conundrum. All right, making making good progress here. All the uh, hard parts are done, except for those three. Three squares, three blocks of grass. Oh, the, that had to uh, be right the worst side. path to take over to yeah. the right side <laughs> of the screen, but nailed it. Was it. Pretty bad, but yep, no problem. And had a very, very good spawn here to be able to cut. Oh, wow, that round as well was horroring. All right, good. Uh, making progress and getting oh, uh, I'm so fuel. nervous. I think the way Jekin is playing is really weird right now, and I feel like they're not making decisions like things are just happening you know yep they're just the game is playing and they're just like in the passenger seat right now <laughs> for sure okay get some a fuel spawn there's two tiles here and then one more tile oh that is the most beautiful fuel spawn okay where's the yeah. next wheel this is what it all this... comes down to nice Perfect. nice spawn all right here we go okay <laughs> Lone yeah. 10. Just uh, it wasn't being as aggressive about removing troublesome flowers. Or not even troublesome, but just like, I've got extra fuel. I know where the fuel is. Why don't I get rid of a couple flowers before I get it, right? That's kind of thing. We saw a lot of that from the other players, and we're not seeing as much from Jaikin. And I think that's probably a big part of the difference between the times, honestly. Yeah, he's trying to be very perfect with his driving, but that costs a lot because there's no clear path to follow it's All impressive right, as hell when me. it works though because yeah <laughs> yeah it was some really great <laughs> moments sure. on that last lawn he's had some of the best driving we've seen today for sure when just going zigzagging through those tiny patches just following exactly the pattern that they mowed previously because that's the only safe route so has picked up on this this second row at the bottom that is really clear for much of it, and yeah. there's like a couple flowers. Like it's basically just one flower, I guess, that you get rid of and you get to extend that even further. Yeah, those those three flowers on the second row are to be mowed, I think, and that that one spawn here is is pretty bad. So as soon as you can mow that one flower here, you should be doing it. All right, so she can 
really mowing as little flowers as possible, and that costs a lot. So, I don't know. Is there a, like a force row? Yeah, the force row as well, starting up, mm -hmm. is is pretty clear if you manage to to cut those flowers. Um, it but, does uh, <clears throat> walk into that diagonal rock wall though, which is like one of the big sticking points, right? Like yeah, if you if you really want to sure. get all the way to the left side of the screen, you got to get around that rock wall. So having a path that you know will get you past there seems like a, a good tool to have. Yep. The the flowers are what kills you, not the rocks. But yeah, that that one flower is definitely avoiding on the second row, starting from the bottom is so painful to watch. Phosphor top was Xanx home. Yeah. It's so easy when you're just like watching, seeing these uh -huh. patterns, because we've seen them for a long time now, and we're not playing at the same time. So it's always easier to be to be spectating spectating those those randomizer. Um, sometimes the decision uh, when you're just the speed gaming viewer, the decision that the players take don't really make sense, and you have to play the game for yourself to kind of understand. Um, what 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 happens when you're playing and routing at the same time works for a lot of randomizers. Yeah, I think I've only done the randomizer once, and uh, there are times where fully I, I am not making any decisions. Like I <laughs> I am going, and my my eyes are processing threats like flowers and rocks, and my fingers are steering around them. But there's no thought beyond the next two tiles or whatever. Like it, it it does just get that tense. So yeah, yeah, it's a, uh, it's it's really not easy to maintain that sort of higher level of thought while playing this really precise, difficult game. I think if you're not making conscious decision to cut flowers, you will end up playing like what Jiken is doing right now, being really as aggressive as possible, trying to avoid all the dangers. But sadly, that's way harder than when, what, what Molyman has been doing. Although Molyman died a lot, and mentally, that can be draining as well. Alright, good, good, good try here though. Lots of the uh, right part done, and that one square is not too bad to get back to. Ooh, he mows that flower. Um, That's good. Yep, finally. With how right, often you end up down. on that row anyway, just moving from left to right to get under the rocks, you it was just kind of a matter of nope. time. Oh, he guessed Where is left. it? Uh... It really didn't matter which way he guessed. He didn't have enough time to get more than a couple squares into either direction. Yep. And that's where what you said earlier, like those flowers you cut on the the, the the previous attempts starts to get on your way when they spawn back up after out of fuel. Because now the game, the, it's way harder for Jiken compared to the previous try. Like he mowed so many flowers, even if unintentional, that now he has to zigzag w even more and... Uh, Oh. Um, just a little bit. Just one of those really quick one tile adjustments. Are those sometimes those are really hard to do? Um, you have to do it in a lot of routes in the base game, so it's a maneuver that you can kind of build up some muscle memory for. Um, but for me, at least, I always, whenever I didn't know that like that's what I need to do right now, I need to just really quickly dart out, you know, holding right, go up right. Um, that sort of input I'm terrified to make because it's just it's so easy to get it wrong and you can't hesitate right you you only got a fractions of a second to do it so it's uh it can be really intimidating sometimes it's one of those games where you make 
300 turns and each one of those turns feels so important and mm -hmm. uh, the next one is always the hardest. Mows one of these flowers at the bottom. I would have probably the bottom two rows like almost completely cleared of flowers, I think, if I was... Yeah, that's... See, yeah, exactly what Jikin does here, sadly. Uh, I, I think I would start with that, actually. Just mowing, starting to stay center and, and mow all those flowers as fast as possible, because here Jikin uses his extra fuel to mow some more grass, but it's it's way too hard to navigate after one. And, also, and those rocks are in the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's also like, it's just draining, right? Like you, you've been playing lawnmower, some of the hardest lawnmower there is for like 40 minutes straight. Uh, de depending on the kind of player you are, if you hold the D-pad down instead of just tapping it to go whichever direction. Um, if you've been holding it for like 40 minutes, that can start to like really tire your D-pad thumb. And that's the last thing you want to do, like make more work for yourself dodging and zigzagging around all these flowers. There's just so much good reason to just get rid of them. Yeah. Uh, I do admit, though, it feels easy to do when you're watching, but Xanox is saying that it's harder to uh, mow those flowers on lone 10. And yeah, I do admit that I. It, it could be way harder than what we're saying, to be honest. But finally... Jiken is actually showing a lot of adaptation on its, on its play style um, and uh, he's, he's adapting, uh, he's going slower now, slowing down on some difficult parts, trying to mow a little bit more flowers. I think he's actually making good progress, I like that his play style is changing just a little bit. He's really focusing on this, uh, this left side and I think that's a good idea to have a good clear pass with the as little rocks as possible to get back to the fuel as fast as possible. Yeah, the uh, it's easy to say, like, just mow more flowers, right? But obviously, you put yourself at huge risk when you mow flowers intentionally, and if the fuel spawns really far away, you're going to be in a bad spot. So um, you are a little bit at the mercy of uh, randomness with where the fuel spawns that can kind of dictate when it's safe nice. to go for the flowers. But certainly yes, there, like that that can there, he had like half a tank of fuel, right? And right next to the fuel can was a flower. So he could have grabbed that flower and then the fuel can. We saw that a lot from the other players, those sorts of just little um, opportunities to get rid of a flower and they add up. They just they just add up. You just make the course easier to traverse uh, in little ways here and there, and all of a sudden there are all these different paths that you can take through a level. Yeah, it feels like he's mowing flowers when his fuel tank is full, which is a reflex I understand, but it seems like it's not the correct idea. And sadly it's the most intuitive, so it's very difficult to go back, to go against what your uh, monkey brain tells you to do. Like, I have a lot of resources, it's time to spend oh, them. I thought I saw the fuel very briefly on the know. right side of the screen. No! Oh, 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 the perfect! I saw that! Yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> he gave up. He saw he did not have it, and I, 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 I don't know, but I think I was surprised that he got it. And now I get to see the delayed chat reaction of, like, phew! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I yeah, I the, you I think you feel like you're you're gonna die, and so you're yeah. not even you know you quote unquote should be playing as if you were gonna live and ready to go, but sometimes yeah. you've just you've just written it off and you're not ready for when you actually are okay. Yeah, and that try was so good. He was really making very good progress. Almost done with the loan. And it's loan 10. And it's obviously the hardest here for the randomizer. The Jiken came in knowing uh, they might not finish. Um, but they came ready to have some fun. They rounded out our four players here on the screen. 
for the randomizer. Uh, love the enthusiasm. We've seen some really great moves moving through some of these complicated patterns on the fly. Um, but we have about eight minutes left for our slot here on Speed Gaming, so I don't know, 66% done. Maybe this is the one. Yep, going slower, trying to adapt to difficulties. Very, very good driving, though. I'm impressed when uh, those maneuvers work. They, they do work. All right, a little bit less flower on screen. Oh, I did not think he was going to go through that as fast as he did. The oh, rocks! No. The oh. rocks! He had the tiles he needed to get to the fuel, but not to go around the rocks to get to it. Very unfortunate fuel spawn. Yeah, that was that was probably the worst possible because there was no no clear shot. Uh, he had to go down before the diagonal and so that was a very committal move, so sadly no way back to the fuel. And and sometimes that that's what happened in Landmower, even in vanilla Landmower, you'll get some very unfortunate uh, fuel spawn. Yeah, and also like it's um, it's not it's you're not completely without fault, right? Like that also happened because he made a mistake that he found himself in that situation. But it does still just hurt <laughs> when it happens. Yeah, plus you cannot really fault. Chicken there, the rock is randomly placed at that spot, so is it a mistake or was the rock placement there just wrong? Alright, so uh, Jaikin is in the chat can, yeah. saying uh, I need sleep. And yeah, our, our team France players, I suppose it's getting pretty late for them over there, huh? Yeah, it's 1am here, so it's it's been like four very intense hours of loan mowing and uh it's uh yeah it, it was it was very a very good try almost almost did it um very tough seed to be honest loan one through eight were see feel felt pretty easy for most of the players and loan nine and ten kicked everyone's butt yeah that's just how it goes sometimes in lawnmower everyone thank you so much for coming out and watching our little show um, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to put this on each year. There is a, a lawnmower discord that isn't, isn't very active for 11 months of the year, but every, <laughs> every November, lawn November rolls around and everyone kind of gets excited about this game a little bit. And then we put on this big show at the end. So, um, if that sounds like, I mean, it's tough to recommend you join it when it's just about to not get a lot of use for a long time, but... Uh, if you're the kind of person who doesn't mind loitering in a Discord for a while, there it is in the chat. Jimmy Poopin's dropping the link. Um, it's a fun, it's a fun little game, and I, it is. I love that we we get to share it with more and more people every year. Yeah, every every time a lot of new viewers seems to get to see uh, learn more for the first time, and. Uh... It's it's a free game. It's a homebrew. Uh, it's pretty easy to 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 get. It's the forty forty second uh, homebrew on rawmaking.net. So get it's easy to find. It's easy to play. It's super fun. It's easy to speedrun, and the Discord is right there. So we uh, do have a spot for you. <laughs> and the leaderboard is uh, full of French and American flags. So if you're from anywhere else, uh, please try to uh, get there. And it's, uh, it's going to be a, a nice uh, nice time. I think we uh, we need more runners on Lawnmower. Yeah, every year we talk about expanding uh, Team France versus Team USA to a Lawnmower World Cup where we have more countries and, and everyone competes maybe next year will be the year who knows <laughs> um looking at the schedule it looks like there isn't anything actually coming up after this here on speed gaming but over on what channel is that is that f i don't know yeah speed gaming 4 there is currently some a link to the past randomizer happening as well as on speed gaming 3 so 
if you want to get your fill of that, you can check it out there. That's all for us. Uh, thanks so much to all of the runners um, and for uh, speaking staff, apparently, uh, especially Sigma, who's been helping us out a lot uh, on on tech. Um, Twin, thanks so much for joining me. Hey, thanks, Mythical. That was a pleasure, as always. Thanks a lot, Jimmy, especially for putting all that together. Uh, a lot of work running the game, but also uh, motivating the troops and the uh, USA runners as well at the French team. And um, I, I do hope we keep that tradition going uh, for a long time because it's a lot of fun. It's a very unique game that gets... Uh, a lot of interest once a year. Um, I really do hope we get to uh, do that next year. Yeah, hopefully we'll see you all then. Uh, until then, everyone uh, have a have a wonderful night. We'll see you next time.